think it just told me. Did it? Okay. Wait for this shit to fucking just tell me. <laughs> do, do, do. All right, I think. I think we're good. What's up, Psycho Scream? What's up, Chevy? Hi. We're going to hang out a second, let people get in here if they want to. But for anybody watching now or after the fact, this is a TLG Reacts Live, and we're going to be watching the uh, Summer Game Fest that happened earlier today. We'll get into how much I've seen and how much I haven't seen in a sec. But also, uh, if time permits, which you probably will, we're going to be watching the Devolver Digital 2022 showcase as well which is only 25 minutes, but the uh, Summer Game Fest apparently was like two hours. So um, we will definitely watch that in its entirety. Um, yeah, so without going into too much detail, I saw a couple things uh, today when I hopped on Twitter for a split second because I always make that mistake because muscle memory. Um, and uh, well, before I get into that, how is the stream? Is it looking and sounding okay? What's going on here, bro? Bro? Oh, am I not connected to the Wi-Fi? I'm not on here. Okay. That makes all sense in the world. <laughs> um, <clears throat> all right, cool. Uh, and then when I start this, let me know earlier than later if the audio is sounding good. Um, I already kind of uh, you know, checked it out, but um, it should be good. But if you need me to turn something up or down, let me know. Um, but yeah, I uh, I mean, everybody got it spoiled for them that The Last of Us Part 1 got uh, leaked by PlayStation before this started. So yeah. that was uh, interesting, but we will wait till we see it here to talk about it. Um, other than that, I had like one other thing spoiled for me, but I didn't see anything, anything on it. So um, that's good. Other than that, though, I'm going to this completely blind, which I'm really surprised I'm even able to do that. So... Um, anything gets spoiled for you without um, saying what it is, unless it's something I just I mentioned? I saw that, I saw one thing that there, it wasn't, it was something, not like something new getting announced, but mm. I saw that there was a trailer for something here that I didn't see, didn't watch the trailer, but okay. I know we're going to see one. So just a baby spoil, I guess. Baby spoil. <laughs> yeah. So I, uh, I've been hearing and uh, hopefully it's. It doesn't doesn't tell too much, but I've been hearing that this uh this one is pretty meh, but we will watch and we'll find out. But um I haven't heard anybody really excited about what they saw today, so that's kind of um not awesome. But uh you know, a well, lot of people get really critical because they have like a game that they specifically want to see and if they don't see it they get upset. So we'll find out. I'm very excited to see the trailer that was baby spoiled for me, so I'm very excited for that as well. Hyped. Though. Yeah, so in case you guys don't know, if you're watching now or later, I'm Seth. This is Sarah. Hi. Chevy is not here, but he's here in spirit and on the internet. He's, he's in the chat the right now. He's uh, he's doing some moderation for me in case anybody gets fucking insane. And then Psycho's just here hanging out because he does that, and we appreciate it. Getting insane. Getting insane. All right, well, we should probably start this because this is like a two-hour video. So uh, <laughs> let's just jump into it and uh, talk about it as we go. This is Summer Game Fest official live stream from the Game Awards. So it's straight from the source in three, two, one, and go. Let me know about the audio. And here we go. Whose puppy was it? Hello, everybody. I'm Jeff Keeley, and this is Summer oh Game Fest, a live show of what's next in the wide, wide world of video games. We are live here in Los Angeles. So whether you're streaming from home or watching inside an IMAX theater, welcome to our showcase event. We'll watch this Over the IMAX? next few hours, we'll give you updates on in the, the theater. Is that, did he tell you special said? developer yeah. guests. And yes, where, have a where can we do that? I don't know. Way too. Couldn't stream now, it though. What I love about Unless this show now. is that it's a true yeah, dude, we could vlog industry it. showcase. True. Whether you play on Xbox, PC, PlayStation, Switch, or mobile, we'll have games for you. It doesn't matter your platform of choice. 
we're all here to come together as one community that simply That's loves you the say. Art of amazing video games. The biggest franchises in the industry are here, like Drowning Call me of Duty. Out. You'll get introduced to exciting new worlds, new teams, and we'll make room How about for small now? independent developers who we think deserve the spotlight too. If we do this right, testing, testing, talking before any videos list, <laughs> show up. Don't get every announcement that you desire. Let's face it. You're not going to get everything today, but we've got a lot of great stuff. We're not getting so everything get today. Started. Better. But can you hear what I'm saying? Like if I say things, you're going to be like, oh, I know what he's talking about. Not just acknowledge that I'm, I'm making noise. Legendary Japanese fighting game series has continued to evolve. Street Fighter 6 is coming in 2023. And right now, but it's weird. We're excited everybody's got different setups, so coming to the game and show you the exclusive first gameplay okay. footage. All right, Enjoy. well, just let me know if anything changes. Here we go. All right, world premiere, Street Fighter Six, I think he said. Yeah. You will know what hits you. Let me have some fun. That's America's hero. Let's get this mission started. Dang, he's got facial hair. <laughs> <clears throat> what is he wearing? Looks like he's going to the club in that. This will be a good fight. Got you in my sights. I'm glad they're going with uh, different costume designs in this. Not just costumes, but like the characters got like facial hair and shit, so it seems like they're getting older. It's a flashy looking game. Jesus Christ. I'm just on another level. Yeah, the visual style's really good. A lot of people are unhappy about how some of the characters look, but I was like, there's it's going to be alternative or all fucking costumes and shit. And I guarantee a lot of their classic yeah. outfits will be things you can either unlock or will it's be available. So, all right, next it's time for a brand new Looks game cool announcement me. here at summer. Looks game good. Fest. Not a big Check. street fighter fan. Me neither. So. But <laughs> still looks cool. I got to yeah, maintain. Oh, maybe this will be the one that, uh, <laughs> that changes my mind. In. Oh, this is the thing that got spoiled for me. Yeah, 5 was like a weird evolution of 4's visual style, but this looks like a, enough of a leap where it's like actually interesting. and bring it back online. We found the relay, but there was a problem. Alien! Close that gate! Nothing gets in here! Ray didn't make it. They're supposed to be showing stuff off for um, Fireteam Elite tomorrow on oh, IGN's thing, yeah. It's like the only reason I'm even interested in watching it. Hopefully they got some other reveals. Otherwise I might just look that video up. <laughs> um, they've released more stuff, like more classes I think since we've played. I think it's like one other class, yeah. A new kind I checked like a month ago. And it found us first. What the fuck is that? So shiny. True. I don't know what I saw in there. Nobody does. But I know when I close my eyes. Are you gonna tell us what kind of game this is? I still see. It. They do. Okay. <laughs> like I, I like Alien. This looks cool, but be nice to know. Gameplay wise, what it's. Needs to know. Let's 
It's got a cool tone, story-wise. Yeah. And I'm a sucker for xenomorphs and aliens, so mm -hmm. I have an interest inherently, but yeah, here we go. Okay. I think it's like an XCOM style game. Oh, interesting. Which I would definitely play. Oh, yeah. Because I love the aliens. They're coming from everywhere thing. Like, so an XCOM style game in would be really fun cool. Yeah. And PC. Next, two years ago at the Game Awards, Yo. they revealed the Callisto Protocol from the creative force up, Josh? behind the Dead Space franchise. Today, I am thrilled to get to show you the first raw gameplay alongside its creator, Glenn Schofield. But first, here's the quote-unquote Schofield cut of the brand new trailer with a little more gore. Sick. Yeah, I made the mistake on TikTok of saying, like, this looks a lot like Dead Space. And then somebody who I think is part of the dev team was like, yeah, I heard Schofield and me, uh, or Schofield and me have heard that the devs, like 10 devs from Dead Space are working on this game. And I was just <laughs> like, oh, that makes all the sense in the world. Take a look outside. Did you know that they call Callisto the dead moon? Do you know. Dead. Just like you would have been if I hadn't fished you out of that wreck. So whatever you're holding on to right there, that's your old life. You gotta let that go. Is this the same trailer they showed already? They said it's the it's same, but with... Uh, more in gore. Mm. Well, I'm just trying to uh, give you director's cut. I think you kind of referred to it. Yeah, Jeff Keel is like, you gotta give me something, dude. But like, all right, we'll just add some more gory scenes. This fucking looks cool. I'm so yeah. stoked for like a triple A horror game. Yeah. I just love that last part. Pretty much, yeah. It gives me chills every time. Here's the door. Oh yeah, dude. This looks fucking sick. God damn. <laughs> this is more combat. <laughs> to your new home. I was already stoked for this, but that got me even more pumped for it. I fucking am really I'm ready to play this. I was coming yeah. up this year. Fuck yeah. That's right. We know what you wanted to see. And joining me now, Glenn Schofield, striking this is Glenn. Uh, first of all, congratulations. This game looks absolutely incredible. I gotta bites. say, the fact that you, you have built this have, team, dude. this studio, new IP, shipping... Took him a little bit to December, take that bite. COVID ...blows me away, so congratulations. Yeah, thanks, man. Uh, uh, thanks for having us. I really do appreciate it, Jeff. Um, and, you know, for a second, just give me a second. Uh, you know, I want to thank you uh, for all you've done for the game industry. Uh, all Is he part of the mafia? Uh, I think I've known you like 16, 17 years now. And... Uh, um, you've been an ambassador. Um, you've amplified new games, new studios. I don't and, have to give uh, them the world premiere, dude. I, I just wanted to thank you. I really do oh, appreciate well, it. True. Thank you. It's not about me. It's about you guys. Yeah, I, I know. I, but I appreciate that. Thank you so much. And yeah, it's so fun to do these shows and to show this game. So people saw the trailer, but what I'm so excited today is that yeah, they're fucking doing them dirty. Play sequence. This game is in development, <laughs> and people are gonna be blown away. I think when they see it, but. Tell us a bit about what are we going to see. I've been seeing the Dead Space yeah, remake, and I'm like, yeah, that's probably going to be pretty like cool. It looks all right. And then I see this, and I'm like, that looks like the Dead Space that I think people are going to want. Yeah. And now it's coming out like a month before, and it's like, god damn, dude. They fucking... They're like, hey, man, we worked on that, the original one. We're bringing it back, but in a different way. weapon called the Grip. It's a, like a gravity gun, but it picks up the enemies and it shoves them into giant fans. It rips them apart. It's great. And uh, Eric, and then check for a second. I got the, YouTube uh, over here, and I was like, nice why am I not seeing have, Josh? We, uh, you know, we usually will kill our makes main sense. He doesn't strike me as the type of guy who would make a way. game like this. And, uh, that guy? Uh, yeah. Yeah, he looks like he's going to sell used cars. Yeah. <laughs> like you 
you said, through COVID, through everything else, the dedication, the hard work. Uh, you guys are amazing. Thank you very much. Uh, well, Glenn, I got to say, again, uh, you know, what you guys are shipping this year, this looks like a world-class next-gen game. This is how uh, fucking reveals should be, though. You should be able to show gameplay this, this and be like, it's coming out this year. Let's let the mm -hmm. footage speak for itself. Perfect. Because you get hyped for it, and then you Here fucking it get it. the first gameplay of the Callisto Protocol. Oh, sick. Sweet. Let's go. Good graphics, atmospheric. Fucking juggalos kicking their ass. <laughs> so I can whoop doop. <laughs> Man is trapping me in the corner peddling life insurance. Dude, he looked he looks like it. Whoa. It's kind of cool you can do stuff like that, though. In a horror game, they normally like don't give you a lot of uh, tools to help you. That guy's really trying to show off that you can shoot their legs off without doing it. <laughs> Keeps going for the legs, but not hitting. Shots, yeah, it seems like it. Oh, fuck, look at that outfit. Wasn't it the first Dead goes. Space that you had the end of the game glitch, Josh? That's oh yeah, cool. dude, I love that. Jesus. That's, uh... <laughs> God damn, dude. <laughs> that was awesome. That was very Dead Space. That just happened. All right, move it on. Second one, okay. This October, Call of Duty Modern Warfare You gonna play this then? Or are you still, uh, still upset about that? to its roots for a modern day action game, and today we're about to show you the world premiere. Yeah, that was pretty <laughs> fucked up. With a level playthrough. It's Tell it's more, bad enough that he got sucked into that thing, got murdered, but that it was just Anna slow, Ferris and parts of his body were going in before the rest of him, and just kind of ripped him up. It's a look up. in his eyes while that was happening, dude. Yeah, it was very intimate, but still faster than fucking. Uh, Laura Croft and Tomb Raider. You gotta watch her get choked out for like 15 <laughs> seconds. I'm like, dude, this is too long. Of Call of Duty with the launch of Modern Warfare 2. We are back, we are bigger, and we are bringing the entire team. We're gonna save the name Call of Duty. Soap, Alejandro, and of course, Ghost. We needed a stage big enough to debut Call of Duty. I definitely, yeah, it looks, it looks like something you would play for sure. world we're about to enter. Oil rigs, cargo ships, and staggering odds are just the beginning. Here is Modern Warfare 2. I'm sitting hunched because I got my armor so high. Fuck it, I feel like I'm sitting like a fucking piece of shit. This looks good. What are people fucking talking about? What? I was a nerd. <laughs> True. Fucking looks like one. Good hook. 
But will you be allowed to mow down unsuspecting Russians in an airport again? I don't think so. Although I think it would be very bold of them to just do it again. They'd get controversy, but a lot of us would just be like, it's fine. It's a video game. It's not real. Mm -hmm. That's how you do it, dude. Camper. Coming up. Shadow one, moving to the southeast stairwell. Scorer, right side. Let's make him go back and play Modern Warfare 2019. Trying to show off the environment. The it's just like not a lot happening. It's the pacing, dude. It says vibes of the old Modern Warfare 2 reveal with the snow level. Yeah, a little bit. We need to move fast. All shadows force out. I want eyes on that container now. This guy's playing on easy. <laughs> I might have missed it, but it, has he uh, mounted up on anything? Is that coming back? Please? Please bring it back? I know that uh, Vanguard does it, so that engine just kind of allows it, but I just hope they maintain all the cool things they did with uh, 2019's Modern Warfare. Cold War, we uh, we we won't talk about. We were... Uh, I'm annoyed people are saying this looked fucking last gen. It was slight, but he did mount. Okay. I assume they would. I, I haven't heard anything about it. Let's have ourselves a gunfight. Fuck yeah, bro. Let's have a gun. <laughs> Let's have a gunfight, dude. Okay, so this is different. Like when I watched the trailer that came out like a day ago or whatever, I thought this was like a 
a new like reinterpretation of the first mission in uh, Modern Warfare, but it's definitely not. Unless it is. I don't think it is though. Just reminds me of that that fucking cargo ship. Bro, you're playing sloppy. Back the fucking cool spectacles. Fucking just landing to the right, running in there. Fucking sick transition, dude. Love it. Pre-order now and get early access to the open beta. Sick. Can't wait. Can't wait for that That's multiplayer. That's what we're talking about. And joining us now, up from Long Beach, Johanna, great to see you. How's everything? It's great. Thanks. Uh, great to have you with us. And also Jeff from uh, Infinity Ward. So we saw the first gameplay. Thanks it's for definitely that. unexpected. The sequence looks incredible. Uh, Jeff, tell us a bit about that mission. Uh, where is that set in the game? What are we seeing there? Absolutely. So um, tell us first everything's of all, happening in the story really at that point. To welcome back uh, Captain John Price and uh, uh, Gaz uh, Garrick. Um, you know they're not really they're not actually in what we just saw today, but uh, they're returning members from One for One, and then the other two characters uh, that were you may recognize from the older franchise that we're reimagining are uh, Simon Ghost Riley and uh, of course uh, Soap John McTavish. Um, and then a couple other new characters in here that we're really excited uh, that we got to uh, create for this game. Um, first, uh, Commander Philip Graves and uh, Mexican Special Forces uh, Colonel Alejandro. And Alejandro, I gotta say, we're, it's a character we're really excited about. He's a guy who's super capable and a guy uh, who's just as important as Task Force 141. Um, but as far as the level's concerned, um, you know, this, I, I got a shout out to, to IW. You know, this was tr a tremendous collaboration across all of the, the different uh, disciplines. As you saw, everybody coming together, some really uh, motivated devs here. And, uh, you know, you saw the, the wind and. Oh, you know the, he's going to uh, get fucking murdered. And the awesome sound design. You can't be the guy with the fucking skull tech, face and not get killed at some point. In different directions. It's creating a physically dynamic environment, allowing for the cover you were seeing in certain cases, you could be behind cover and then suddenly that cover would shift and leave you exposed but it also leaves the enemy exposed creating this emergent gameplay um, so I, again I'm, I'm very excited just can't wait that I'm so excited that we get to show it off today and that's just a hint of where things are gonna go uh, Johanna tell us a bit about Call of Duty overall Modern Warfare 2 obviously you know we're so excited that it's back this year but you've got lots going on across Call he of Duty. Is. what can we expect he's today? definitely a nerd yeah. there's a lot um, of them first of all thanks for having Probably us here we're just fucking so excited nerds. for they probably play video games it's such a big moment not just for Modern Warfare Fair 2 and everything that Jeff and the team at Infinity Ward have built, but it really marks this step change, what we're calling a transformational moment for the entire franchise. You're going to see incredible rendering, incredible graphics, all the things just within the game itself built all on one shared engine now across Warzone and Modern Warfare 2 going forward. Of course, there's a lot of chatter and interest about the new Warzone experience. We're affectionately calling it Warzone 2.0. Um, there will be um, a standalone experience of Warzone for current existing um, players as well. So we're going to sort of feed the entire community there. But all eyes on the 28th. Um, and again, I think the collaboration has just been incredible. Everybody's so excited for Task Force 141. 
Um, Warzone coming to mobile as well for players on the go. Don't care. We're, we're on Steam. Don't care about I mean? that. So it's just a big moment, and there's going to be a lot more to come in the in the months to follow. Yeah, it's well, cool. It's coming back to fucking we Steam. Leave, we got to ask a little bit about weird. Warzone too. I know we just you know we're showing gameplay here on this, but can you tell us anything? There's a little bit. It seems like there was a little bit of a tease maybe in the trailer yesterday. Yeah, when we're seeing that from the community, community, we love when the fans can pick up some things, um, some chatter about maybe seeing high rise and, and other elements, but. We will get into the details of Warzone 2.0 for sure. It will be an extension of the Modern Warfare 2 universe. Yeah. So all the more reason why we think this game, this moment, is, is such an important uh, title for all of us looking looking ahead. And like we said, we're having a bold vision around the entire future. Wasn't there a future, rumor so that there was like some kind of uh, all right, like well, mission we'll editor so thing so this was come with this one too? I don't know if it's real or not, but I remember hearing Warfare something about like... Thanks, Johanna and Jeff. Um, all right, well, we've got lots something more you can like be more hands on with. And now with the it's game. time to announce a classic PC gaming franchise is coming back with a sequel over 30 years after its first release. I loved this game when I was growing up, so I'm honored to share this very first look. Lemmings. Mm. Yeah, shit's old. Yeah, hopefully they go all out with it. Uh, they, I think I read something a day or two ago, too, that they were saying there's no zombies in this one. Which wouldn't surprise me since it's Infinity Ward, but hopefully they, they replace that with some other kind of like cooperative thing, like Spec Ops. Hmm, interesting. Yes, yeah, remember they were saying something about like some kind of like mission editor. They're saying it's gonna be like the biggest Call of Duty ever because they're doing all this shit with it, but right, that could also just time. them being trying Back to fucking sell it. So. We announced Witchfire at the Game Awards. Almost you five years later, too? I am so excited. The team at the Astronauts in Poland has put together an in-depth look at the gameplay of this dark family. fantasy first-person shooter. Still trying to understand what's really happening with Call of Duty. I am so excited to, shoot people. to play this, and I bet sure. you will be too. I just don't. I mean, I don't really follow Call of Duty. I'm not a Call of Duty fan, but like, are they just making Modern Warfare 2 again? Like, is no, that already a game? It, no, no, no. It's a complete reimagining of a game They're, they've already made. Yeah. Why not? Okay. It's fine. What is this? Oh, I hate that gun sound effect. <laughs> it's, it's fucking basic. Otherwise, this looks kind of interesting. Yeah. I mean, it kind of looks like Destiny. The way, like, the gameplay is. That was kind of cool. Dude, I want a fucking Remnant from the Ashes too. I will <laughs> buy whatever Ultimate Edition you got. Just give it to me. I don't think that crystal is as interesting as you guys think it is. Witch fire or witch tire. Hmm. Looks that's interesting. Cool. Okay, cool. Yeah. I like the old timey guns and the the magic. Yeah. Kind of remind me of my hunter on Destiny. But okay, next up comes that's an ambitious cool. game. has like a Warhammer fantasy vibe. Studio yeah, in Europe, kind of. starring some very familiar names. Enjoy this world premiere new game announcement. I don't know. Officer Taylor Medlog. I don't know. There's is there a heavy metal game? Today, um Everything on Real Engine. Believe what I saw. Solace. Everything okay in there? 
N. How are you gonna show this after you showed off fucking Callisto Project? I should show this first. Wherever this is. <laughs> N N. What are you talking about? Fort Solace. Troy Baker. Looks interesting. Yeah, that's that something cool. brand new. And look who it is. Troy and Roger in person. Who that, dude? Guys, uh, this who is that? so fun. The fact that you're working on a game together. What a cool. Oh, dang. Team. Jeremy, what's up, uh, dude? To the show. Uh, Good to be here. I got to ask you guys uh, who are your characters in this game? Well, uh, I get to play a character named Wyatt Taylor, who's a medical officer who's stationed at this uh, base, Fort Solace. And uh, it's the epicenter of this mystery that we'll discover and uncover as we go through the game. And of course, my character will be at times in opposition with Roger's character. The battle we've been waiting to see. Say <laughs> away, dude. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. We can't wait to show you what we've been working on. And by the way, Jeff, this looks awesome, man. Yeah, man. It's so great to be here. Thanks yeah. for having us. Well, it's, it's so great that you're in another game. We, I mean, it's feeling like this is your first game since it's Red Dead 2. One of the first major yeah. ones for a while. And I play a character by the name of Jack Leary. He's a maintenance engineer on a remote Martian. Never mind, it's not the coast. metal game. His job is to make sure that none of the equipment... You gotta find out what the metal game is. Do I need to look it up? Shift, <laughs> the graveyard shift, meaning Mars and Earth... You can't just be like, is it that? And just be like, never mind. Other ...and their orbits <laughs> around the sun. So yeah, I it's not it. a simple call away. Uh, I got to ask, I, I think a lot of people will see this thing and they'll probably wonder, you know, it's a new team, right? Uh, new, you know, independent studio. In America Europe, going this, but with huge crazy. Values. Yeah, dude. Like, how did you guys get attached to this? Tell us a bit about the background. I, I will say that 2020 to me was the most impactful year for games. It was the first, I mean, obviously we had this unprecedented event with the pandemic and that forced the way that we- Dude, not only has it been a while since you've caught a stream, it's been a while since I've done a stream. <laughs> so we're making up for it right now. My last stream I did uh, when I was doing all my setup was Lost Ark. And so, played that a while ago. Like else, we got reached out. Uh, James Tinsdale with this Arthur brand Martin new studio himself. said we'd like for you to. That's funny because uh, I I'm not listening as much as I should be right now. But when that guy talked, I kind of happen. thought he sounded like At Arthur Morgan. He said, "It's we want this to feel it's a it's a tight thriller. We want it to feel like Dead Space meets uh, Duncan Jones Moon." And I was like, "Sign me up." I'm into that, absolutely. It does have and a vibe of like both of those. Capture and everything, ah, right? yeah. Absolutely. New studio, brand new energy, and of course... That guy is Arthur Morgan. The business, and me. I get the privilege Who's the other of getting to see this guy and Jim watch him in action. Is, uh, you know, I love to work, and I love the <laughs> yeah, dude, fucking just good timing. ...that this medium provides to performers. We can't wait to show you what we've been working on. Yeah. I think it's going to knock Yeah, I guess I've seen off. some of the behind the scenes and the performance capture, Unreal Engine 5. I mean, this is, it looks absolutely phenomenal. Can you give us a hint about the, the gameplay? Like, what are we going to do in this game? Yeah, the verbs are always important. So we're going to let the game speak for itself. We'll be showing you more later on. But uh, this is a game where you as the player, you're going to be exploring, you're going to be discovering. Is it a, like, like a said, story a narrative game? tight thriller. So you're moving very fast paced through this world. There'll be multiple locations, multiple ways for you to traverse. Which oh, that kind of makes sense. About. Hellsinger uh, sounds the, pretty similar. The narrative is a huge element to this. Uh, the, fucking, they, they didn't waste uh, game any, called any Witchfire? resources on yeah. the, the performance for sure. Yeah, I got to tell one quick story. It's basically the same word. Uh, it's, yeah, it's basically the exact same. Um, there is a lot of thematically they sound like yeah, fucking yeah. if you're like yo <laughs> listen to a band called hell singer and, and then like a week later you're like yo listen to this band called witch fire or the fuck i'd be like two completely different i'd be like dude okay that all sounds like the same shit no no dude of this fight and so roger and i sat down we said these are where our characters are and he goes give me one hour and i will come back to you with the story of this fight and after an hour he comes to us and he goes it was like a like a recovery program it was 12 steps and he walked us through this incredible fight. And I was, I, about halfway out, uh, halfway through, I started tuning him out. And I was like, hey, man, I just want to let you know I've got no like ego. I'm tuning this guy out. I can do a lot of things, but I, I, I can't do this. And he grabbed me by my shoulders and he says, oh, you can't. It's just the truth, you dude. Will. 
and it's going to be glorious. <laughs> and we did. And we it's did. It's like a dance. There was a lot of trust, and it worked out. Yeah, I mean, we're big, excited big about stunts. It. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, this is so cool to see. Is it an independent studio doing this? Teaming up with you guys. We can't wait to see more. Troy, Roger, thanks for joining us here. Happy to be here. Summer Game Thank Fest. you. All right. That's some cool much, fucking guys. voice right. talent well, for a small up, company to get. Space theme. It's time yeah. to world premiere a very exciting new game, which will feature a musical score by industry legend the Nick Gordon. This one is going to grab you, and we are so honored to debut it. Am I going to get in trouble? Music. Okay, damn, we got a lot of fucking uh, sci-fi stuff. This already looks cool. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. I'm here for it. I'm here for whatever that thing is. Is that a video camera? He's gonna be vlogging, dude. This is a. Uh, what's that channel called? I don't know. This looks good. Yeah. He's just here for a good time, dude. Looks like it. <laughs> hmm. That was pretty intriguing. I... Ooh, Xbox. It's an Xbox Doesn't game. That great? That was routine and PC. coming to Xbox and PC. It was first announced a decade ago and is now officially back. I can't wait to see more. Dope. Now it's time to check in with a very special crazy guest sound. who's been Speaking in his fair of, share of I've video been games, playing including most recently, recently never thought I'd actually give it another try. Dwayne Johnson, yeah, they keep Dwayne adding more and more shit to that back. game. Like, All I need right. to hop in myself, because every time I see what's anything up, new on it, I fucking... And what's up, Jeff? He looks fake. And what is up to um, I want to play it. Are you liking it? ...live streaming right now around the world, and everybody inside the epic IMAX theaters. Dwayne Johnson here, coming at you from my iron paradise, the very hot and sweaty and smelly iron paradise, uh, powered by, of course, Zoa Energy, the number one fastest growing energy drink in the game. You guys know me. Uh, cool, dude. What's Williams, happening right now? Rock, An ad. Lot Just for Zoa Energy? Status, and the rock. Uh, Uncle Handsome, sexiest man alive, uh, big drink energy. Always room for a cheesy joke. There's always room for the extra large cheese pizza, especially when I'm delivering and I deliver them often. Uh, yeah, we don't gotta bring up skill bound anymore. It's depressing. Greatest and most electrified. Although it was like I think earlier this year or late last year, the guy who's working on that originally was asking or I guess jokingly saying like, Hey Xbox, we'd love to fucking start that again. I don't think they'd do it, but uh I thought it was funny that they were like, Hey, we're we're still fucking down to uh to make and, that uh, the teams over there and we cannot wait to show you what we have in store for the future and speaking of the future in the future you will also know me as black adam black adam as millions of you know around the world who know the black adam mythology he is ruthless he is unstoppable and for those who don't i always like to say a quick tutorial is this um black adam has the powers of superman but the only difference well, there's a few differences, but one of the biggest differences with? is Superman's weakness is magic, and Black Adam's, one of his superpowers, is magic. So you do the math. Uh, October 21st, I cannot wait for you guys to see Black Adam around the world in theaters only, and you guys will finally see the hierarchy of power in the DC Universe change. Uh, it has been an honor. I like how they're like, oh, cool, Black we're going to get The Rock on our say, show, and he's just here fucking... Chilling for his goddamn energy drink in his fucking movie. Man in black, and I'm honored to show it to you guys on October 21st. So until then, uh, stay healthy, stay safe, stay focused, keep having fun. Jeff Bucks, G Bucks. Uh, enjoy your gaming, and I'll see you down the road. <laughs> this is Black Adam. 
<laughs> Seems so disingenuous. Black Adam. <laughs> Enjoy your gaming. What have your powers ever given to you? It's not as bad as when Vin Diesel and uh, Michelle Rodriguez came out for Fast and Furious. The game that everybody fucking forgot about. <laughs> and uh, they're like, we used to play uh, Tekken. I was reborn a god. Like, Tekken, dude? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, dick. <laughs> now, I kneel before no Say it to his I, face, dude. I hope he's saying that to the rock, dude. He could be talking to one of us. You can be the destroyer of this world. Yeah, that was so awkward. You can be yeah, I fucking it, it's it's forced and I don't like it, but at least we can make fun of it. But like back in the day, Ubisoft used to have like the kids on the stage at the Xbox That's thing, and they're like. You. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna throw the ball. Uh, catch. And I'm, I'm waiting. I'm gonna catch the ball. Oh, I caught it. Yeah, you caught it. Oh, I'm gonna throw the ball again. It's like, I think it was for Connect. At least we don't have that shit anymore. Yeah, it's pretty lame when the rock shows up. Like, hey, check out my energy drink. It's the biggest growing energy drink in the game. Oh, yeah. 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 Show it to me. This comes out soon. Stoked. The new armors look so much better than all the armors in yes. the base game. Yes. Damn, that's the fucking fish stick guy. I, I beg the rock sees that. You get caught up in Outriders. Hey, I need to play that still. Still play Outriders. Me and Sarah beat it. We played a little bit of the end game, and then we saw that this was coming out, and we both wanted to play it, but we both made the decision that we're going to wait until the expansion, because I feel like we're going to start doing the end game, and it's not going to matter by the time this comes out. So yeah. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much where we're at. Not to just speak for you, but like we're on the same page. So we're waiting for this to come out. We're going to start playing it again. I know Psycho has it. Um, and uh, yeah, we should play that sometime. Chevy also has not played it, and I feel like he would like it. Not the best game in the world, but it's better than it deserves to be. So it's not, not bad. It's fun. I'm stoked that it made enough for them to uh, make an expansion. Yeah. This might draw me back in until something substantial comes out. Yeah. Yeah, you were playing that too, I remember. I guess that Capcom collection. Oh, this is just a bunch of shit. I just keep hearing about that Capcom collection. I don't even know what the fuck it is. I just gotta finish the story. Do it. How far how far are you? I don't even remember what the level cap is in that game, but is it fifty or something? Forty? I don't remember. Thirty maybe? I don't, I'm just, I, at this point I'm just saying numbers. <laughs> oh I saw this. I didn't realize this was a game fest. Beans! Look at these fucking guys. This is kind of free to play, right? Yeah, I think that's what this trailer is yeah. announcing. That's the move. Like, it's it's a cool game, but this is a game you need to like let everyone just play. I guess I, I guess this trailer got spoiled for me because I watched it. I just didn't realize it was a a game fest reveal. Yeah. But, uh, if you were to tell me though that you saw this trailer, it wouldn't be too much of a like, a, oh yeah. shit, dude, you ruined <laughs> no, the surprise. Um, Valkyrie's in it. So I saw her. she posted it earlier. Free for all. That was so fun to see Courage and Ray in that Fall Guys piece. And you can Who play was the first Fall one? Guys for free. Courage June 21st is um, all platforms one of the co-owners of Nintendo 100 Switch, Thieves. Xbox, PC, hmm. and PlayStation. I don't... All right, back to another new game announcement. We're going to announce a brand new game new and game. universe. Strapping, guys. Team of legendary developers. Yeah, swept the client, I believe. Out. Yeah, that, that would make sense. Also, one of the IP kept by Square in the selling. Hmm. That's interesting. 
I assume you're talking about Outriders. I'm like level 24, 25, maybe higher. Hm. Yeah, I don't remember what the level cap is. I don't either, yeah. What are you, uh, what are you, what class are you playing? Signals breaking up. Command, I'll do one last scan. See you soon. Over. What is this fucking Recore 2? Okay, hurry. Pyro. Oh, nice. Fucking, finally someone's playing Pyro. Yeah. Everyone I've played with hasn't been playing it. What's the class you play called? The psychic one. I don't remember. Or time manipulation or some shit. I don't, I don't remember. It's weird. You know, I like a, a nice CGI cinematic, but uh, how about some gameplay? Oh yeah, Trickster. Trickster and Pyro. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I remember after he said that. Diablo! Yo, who's playing Diablo Immortal? I don't know what this is, but it's not doing much for me. This no. feels almost like a like a fucking free to play game. Oh, you know what? I think I heard about this. They square sold all Western studios, but kept that. That's really interesting. And it got an expansion too, so maybe they saw potential with it. That's that's really interesting. Whales, that is exactly who's playing Diablo Immortal. Never touching that. I have touched it and uh, I can't I can't recommend it. Same. I'm only playing it so I can talk about it, but I'm already burnt out on it. Have not spent any money before that becomes a, uh, a talking point. Um, I don't plan on giving them anything. Just playing as far as I can to see when it becomes abundantly clear that that's exactly what they want. 2023 beta? It's coming, dude. You ready? I mean, I guess so. I don't feel like I need to get ready for that. There you have it, Tim. Congratulations. Stormgate uh, is real. I have been real. playing we have it this details. week here uh, and there. So, first of all, what are you thinking of it? This announcement. We're so excited about the Do you love it? Are you somewhere in the middle? Uh, franchise what is a do you Stormgate, hate it though? all right so storm gates are portals that open during a massive solar storm that unleash the infernal host on future earth dang right. look at his uh, arms and we saw some hints of some ra i mean you know you guys come what am i looking for and starcraft everyone wants to know about racing I see <laughs> padding <laughs> dude sides in this rts game yeah, we're unveiling our first two factions <laughs> today, but there will be more. Uh, so the human resistance, uh, and we saw archaeologists... It's not, it doesn't even look like... In that it's not even like they're that hairy. Uh, it just, like, looks like all the hair is, like, standing up on its, on its end. From another world. It's just it's got mean, chills, dude. Kind of yeah. weird looking. I don't know. He's pumped. <laughs> you know, where do you want to push the RTS genre? It's something we've all loved for decades, but, you know, opportunity for a lot of innovation... Um, I know you're going to show us, I think, some some hints of where you're going to go Im image-wise with the actual gameplay made in Unreal Engine, but any sense of what you want to do for the gameplay in this game? Absolutely. I, but the first thing I want to say yeah. is we are <laughs> very consciously trying to stay true to what players already love about RTS. Um, where we're really trying to push the genre and be innovative, first off, approachability. Um, for one thing, we're free to play, uh, but he definitely uh, has a fuzzy no outline. Win, no NFTs, nothing like that. Um, just I put 500 into Genshin Impact when it first came out. But Every time, really zero. I see anything so on it, I'm instantly depressed. Cooperatively, we've got three players. Bitch is a fucking furry. Uh, <laughs> Literally, it's not part of that community. He's part of his own. But of course, we've also still got one v one competitive. And as a little surprise, I think we've got some first kind of work in progress images uh, from the game, right? Yeah, these are still very much still uh, being worked on, but some shots of uh, actual assets that we're building in Unreal Engine 5. 
Wow. Well, I, I, I love it. <laughs> 2023, you said, for the beta, so people can sign up now, get ready. And I'm just so thrilled that there is a, a brand new oh, RTS more franchise interesting coming from the you trailer. guys and your background and what you did you know, at Blizzard and StarCraft. We're so excited about this team, Frost Giant. Uh, thank you so much for giving us your announcement today on Summer Game Fest. Thank you so much for having us here. Really hmm. grateful. Awesome. All right. Frost I will Giant, uh, reserve Keep an eye out for it. Now thoughts on it until I see gameplay. Another game announcement that I'm excited to share with you. High Water. Check this one out. High Water. Good morning, High Water Dwellers. High Water Pirate Radio keeping you in the know with our flow. Alphaville authorities continue to deny false Ooh, rumors RTS. that Alphaville elites are planning to evacuate. Yeah, I still need to play fucking Age of Empires 4. can't deny that the world ended on a sunny day. The world ended on a sunny day. Boys and girls surfing We'll check this out on PlayStation Plus in 2023. True. I mean, you guys could have made this in Unreal Engine 5 and it would look much better with less time. DJI, dude. Very nice. Yeah, I have it installed. Uh, Age of Empires 4. I just I've had it installed for a while. I just fucking haven't haven't started it. I I'm never on my Xbox uh, app, not not console. I don't have no fucking Xbox. <laughs> What a breathtaking trailer. High Water yeah. is an adventure strategy game set in a world wrapped so, by extreme climate change. Now, speaking of the world around us, the conflict in Ukraine is not far from anyone's mind, and it's impacted the development of games. I was thinking about it. Including replaced something. from Sad Cat Studios, <laughs> a Belarusian studio with devs from Belarus and Ukraine. The team had long hoped to reveal a new trailer here today. Oh, is this that fucking cool uh, cyberpunk like guys? I just want to say we're thinking side scrolling game. All the developers impacted by the conflict and hope to be able to share your work at a future show. All right, our next game is dude, an official selection of it, the Tribeca dude. Games it, dude. Festival. Dude. It's American Arcadia, where you play Trevor, whose life is being televised with the viewing population. Yeah, yeah other things to worry about. Up or down. When you become unpopular. You need to start running for your life. Check this out. Picture a city where technology and science go hand in hand with fun and entertainment. My grandfather, Elijah Walton, had a dream to build the city of tomorrow. That dream is now a reality and that city is arcadia a 43 square mile metropolis death loop where town town and every citizen enjoys a life of luxury and comfort broadcast live 24 hours a day seven days a week on every digital platform american arcadia control Subject on the run on camera 4025. Interrupt broadcast immediately. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't care. Listen to me. We can't allow Trevor Hills to escape under any circumstances. Trevor. Trevor, can you hear me? Truman Show, for sure. Be careful and don't make a sound. Don't worry. I'm going to get you out of there. Hmm. Hmm. Let's get something good, dude. Apparently we've made it to the beach. <laughs> Damn. Next up is a sequel we've all been anticipating for a long time. There's trouble in paradise, and watch out. You don't want to get bitten. After many years of rumors, we finally get an update on this much-anticipated sequel. Is it? I'm gonna find out, dude. Oh, this one. Coffee stain. This 
reminds me of the trailer for um, fucking Dead Island too. Fucking like a simulator game. Yep. <laughs> you guys remember that Dead Island 2 fucking trailer where the guy's like jogging and people are getting killed around him? Are they doing a goddamn parody of that? Oh, yeah, you said Dead Island as well. Guess not. Oh, shit. <laughs> Front one's quack. <laughs> It is Quack, dude. The back one is Mirko. Three? There was two? I don't think so. Are they just being fucking weird? There you have it. That Good was Sim Goat 3. Simulator 3, and it's coming later this year to the Epic Games Store. I'm so confused. Now, last year, Marvel and 2K <sighs> announced Marvel's... Best Midnight trailer in the Sun. show, and yes, Classical it's a parody RPG of Dead Island 2 trailer. Game. Okay, that this makes sense. ...behind XCOM and Civilizations. Heroes from the Avengers and X-Men crossover with supernatural ones like Blade and Ghost Rider for a battle And no, there was never a Ghost Simulator. Dude, yeah, I swear there wasn't. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Set to join the battle. It's almost exact. This world has no hope under your watch. Oh, God. Why has everybody fucking got Metallica in their goddamn trailers lately? Trying to get me in trouble? Does this game already come out? Hmm. fact that they put the Avengers in the Midnight Suns game. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It's the XCOM Marvel game I actually want to play. Yeah, I want to play it too. I'm not too interested in the uh, the subject matter, but I like Praxis and I like XCOM, so... Plus, didn't doesn't this game have some kind of like a, like a card game type thing to it? Like, when you're deciding what to do with your characters? Or am I thinking of a different game? I remember the gameplay and people getting thrown around and shit, which was really cool. And like environmental stuff. Ninety-three percent chance to hit miss. Guardians of the Galaxy game wasn't all that bad. I think I plat it. Yes, cards. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I was curious about the Guardians of the Galaxy game, but the story part of it doesn't really do a whole lot for me, although I'm sure it's great and fine. Um, it didn't have a lot of pulling power for me, but uh, gameplay-wise, it looked like it was made well. I heard nothing but good things about it, too. Counting on you again, old friend. Three, two, one. That used to always work. Well, it did that one time. That was uh -huh. fucking abrupt. That was Midnight Suns. This and stage now is out of control. On to the wonderful world of Cuphead, the delicious last course. And you, can you believe it? We're only a couple weeks away from playing only a the delicious couple last weeks. course DLC. You see how they did that for Cuphead? Joining me now is Maya Maldenhauer from Studio MDHR. So, first of all, Maya, it's really coming? It's really coming June 30th on all major platforms. We are thrilled. Well, I'm so thrilled, too, that uh, I think all the fans can't believe that this is here. And I've been. Lucky enough to play this actually on my Steam Deck uh, last week, and you guys gave me a copy. This Dang, dude, what's it like? Dang, dude. What's it like? We're not going to be ready for Bragging? how amazing this looks and the backgrounds and what you guys have done. I feel like you've you've amped up obviously the gameplay. It's difficult as we would expect, but the visual looks good. Pun, dude. Even to the next level, which I didn't think was possible. Yeah, His we Steam Deck did. told them. Pinpoint one thing that we're proud of in this because we really honed our craft 
took everything to the next level from animation, the backgrounds, the music, gameplay design, um, and of course our new playable character, Miss Chalice. I'm very proud of her. Chalice is fun to play as, and, and even though this is a DLC, it feels like it's its own game inside of Cuphead in many ways. It is, it is, definitely. Yeah, yeah you just get, get on the island, and, and there you are off to this new uh, new territory, which is amazing. Yeah, it's our biggest island yet, super-sized bosses, lots of secrets to discover. Um, don't let any rock go unturned. Yes, and lots of challenge ahead. Well, I know you brought, I, I know you want, you don't want people to necessarily have too much spoiled about the game, but you brought a little something. A little play, something, right? yeah. It's a brand new gameplay footage of one of our new bosses, Mortimer Freeze. It takes place in an icy arena um, and features some of my personal favorite um, attacks and transformations. We hope everyone enjoys it. All right, let's Shall check I? it out. Cuphead, Shall the delicious I? last course. Thanks, Miles. Look at that guy. This is fucking out of control. These little baby hands. <laughs> I love this game. I love how they just make a little gun with their fingers and <laughs> 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 the little face she makes when she's shooting. She's fucking kidding. Dang, dude. Him. Oh, he's chewy. I love this style now, so much. Yeah, it's it's still it super tomorrow, fucking impressive looking. Dang, all the DLCs dropping show. on the 30th. Monster Hunter, Outriders, and now Cuphead. Yeah, dude, it's uh, it's all coming at the end. Streams at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern. And that's not all. There's more Summer Game Fest all weekend long. Coming up next is the Day of the Devs Indie Showcase with IM8 Bit and Double Fine, then Devolver's Marketing Countdown to Marketing. Tomorrow, after Geek Week, there is the Epic Game Store Showcase at 11 a.m. Tomorrow. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern with news on Rocket League and the Tribeca Game Showcase. And Sunday, don't miss the Xbox and Bethesda Game Showcase with a look at the future of Xbox and Game Pass. Now we have some exciting news for Nintendo Switch and PC fans about Neon White, a game where you play an assassin from hell who slays demons for the chance to ascend to heaven. Sounds like a Devolver title. Sure does. We're called Neons. Sinners plucked from hell to do God's dirty work. But I'm finding it hard to believe we're in heaven. This looks cool. Got ten days here. You day, you mission from all Mikey. You think you can win me over by I feel like I would have to play a demo of it. See how it feels. To see if I'm into it or not. I mean, it looks neat, but it also looks like it could uh, be okay. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Annapurna. Switch and Steam, dude. We've shown you lots of games today made by huge teams. Now it's time for a game made by a single father in Poland. Over the past year, he's brought on some help to bring his vision for a fast-paced action game, Midnight Fight Express, to life. Let's take a look. Single father from Poland, dude. You know the saying, get knocked down, get up again, that whole spiel. Well, it's time, partner. Time to rise up. Together. It's happening. The big 
big guy's actually going through with it. While I sat at his side, seeing lives as dollar signs, I had the stink of corruption all over me. And you know who put it there? Nah, not him. Me. Well, I ain't wearing it anymore, and neither are you. Tonight, we wash this whole thing. It's interesting. Down. It's an interesting mix of, uh, huh? Interesting mix of like top-down shooting and hand-to-hand -hand combat. Yeah. Such a cool game, and I'm happy to announce that a PC demo of this game is going live right now on Steam and will be part of the Steam oh, cool. Next Fest next week. I really want more playable games to get in the hands of you guys at home, and that's one of them. Check it out. All right. Joining me now is Megan like from Digital Extremes games. to talk all things Warframe. Megan, how you doing? I'm so good. My fellow Canadian. I know. We got like, it just happened to always have these Canadian teams on the show. I don't we know how that works out, right? It's okay. We do it's on well. Big pants. Great connection. We've also done a lot with Warframe over the years. And I know right now, anyone watching on Twitch for more than 30 minutes, this show is going to get a special. Yeah, I'm so out of the loop right. on fucking I have seen people getting Warframe. It, so it's very exciting. She's right there, loud and proud. Protea. 30 minutes for watching. Thank you for letting us kind of take over oh. your special events category, but she is there and she is for you if you are properly linked up. No, Warframe, you know, as I said, we've done a lot over the years. You guys have done incredible things with the game. And I know you have TennoCon coming up in July, which is your big kind of event of the year to reveal what's next. What, what can you tell us? Well, I can't tell too much, yeah. Um, but yeah, July 16th, 2022, it's a digital event again this year. Uh, today, actually, we just it's launched Canada. the digital items for it, so you can get some in-game goodies, some really cool cosmetics, some merch, all that really great stuff went live today. But of course, the reason I'm here yes. is to, you know, kind of debut, we have our Tenno Live during TennoCon, which is our big reveal of the night. and. We usually do a little bit of a, a gameplay, a little bit of a demo, and I think a lot of people can Ooh, suspect what frame. it might be, but I'm here so to how I feel to anytime I see it now. Is that Tunnel Live is going to show? I have no idea what's what going on in it. Can I say it? Yes, I think you can. Okay, you're going to get your first look at the Deviri Paradox. It's finally, finally, I know, I know, it's been a couple of years. Uh, but Deviri Paradox is going to be what Ten Alive is all about, and I'm so happy. Uh, the team worked really hard on the teaser you're about to yeah. see for it, and I'm just really proud and excited to show it. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for being here on Summer Game Fest. Let's take a look at that right now. I hate their world child, premiere sound. My friend, what was done is <laughs> done. <laughs> New dangers. New choices await us now. <laughs> Those are fucking lead pipes, dude. Holy yeah. shit, I forgot about pipes. For now, dream of I don't know what's going on. I don't even know. And of who Me we have I don't know where the story's at now. Oh. Uh, all I care about is when the fuck cross save coming. That'd be cool. It'd be really cool if I could transfer all my shit over to PC. Warframe was fun. Always hated that all the frames looked like they're made of Play-Doh. Yeah, they, they always had this, like, um... Like um, HR Geiger Next, organic mechanical look to them, which I appreciate it, but they do definitely have a specific look that either you're gonna like or not. Mobile and PC. This studio continues to deliver, and this new trailer reveals for the very first time a new and exotic realm players will be able to explore. It's a fucking honky star rail. It's better nowadays. I'm sure, I don't even know how many fucking frames are in the game now. I'm sure there's a lot. Listen. You are in a daze right now. You don't know oh, who you are, why you're here. Honkai Pass. None of that matters. In the near future, you will encounter many perils. Companions who treat you like family 
and embark on unimaginable adventures. Weep game. Where, where are my weebs at? We had a furry earlier. Now where's the weebs? That's the you I like. Dang, she got up in him. Honky star rail. <laughs> Of Sup, Ryder? Where's he at? Welcome Is he hiding out? Honky. And that's not all from Hoyoverse. Today, I'm excited to introduce you to Zenless Zone Zero, their next major new IP. It's a futuristic urban action game. I have to say, I'm blown away by what I've seen so far. It was announced a couple weeks ago, and it has the detail of Genshin Impact with a fast-paced action style. Here is the world premiere of a brand new look at Zenless's notable characters, armed enemies, and world of danger. Message didn't go through. Message? Oh yeah, I see you on YouTube. What's up, dude? Okay, so what is this? This is something about Genshin Impact? Yeah. I think I signed up for the beta but completely forgot about it. I've done that a couple times. Said hello. I YouTube didn't feel like it. Yeah, YouTube's got a thing against saying that. Oh shit, love that guy. There's a furry in it though, sadly. Fucking sadly, dude. Look at that guy. Okay, I get. I now I understand. That makes all the sense in the world. I like that it's sci-fi, but I thought Genshin Impact looked cool until I played it, and I was like, it's like this really weird One mix of, of like almost a triple A game, but also a mobile game. Yeah. Us all of the turtles arcade games back in the day. Well, it's nearing the end of development, and the team wanted to use SGF as a way to reveal one exciting aspect of the game they've been keeping under wraps until now. It's the first time and last time I ever heard Jeff Keighley say SGF. Oh yeah, this game. Oh yeah. This reminds me of that um, Scott Pilgrim game, which is pretty cool. Yeah, Chevy's on vacation, so he's not joining us in in the physical realm. Six player. Six player, dude. What the fuck? That's pretty cool. That's out of control. <laughs> But how bold of them, when everybody's going like, you know what, four players overplayed, let's go down to three. They're like, let's go up to six. Fuck, fuck five, let's go to six. This actually looks pretty cool. Yeah, I'm actually excited for this game. Oh. Cool. She's real cool. That's 
as cool as that guy. That guy's pretty cool too. You just get, you gonna leave that there? What fucking free to play mobile battle royale is this? Oh, fuck yeah. I hate this. Yeah. What's even like the tone they're going for? What's this fucking stupid song and just a bunch of people who don't give a shit about combat being in it? Super people. Yeah, I mean, they seem... Fairly super. I remember that Humankind. game. Humankind. Uh, Dang. That's interesting, there's like fucking... Fucking Latin America. Cubans. Oh, that's cool. Do they add anything else? Is that just... Everyone too cool. Yeah, they were all way too cool for combat. A plus, I don't remember the last time I went on what someone calls a vacation. Even then, it was probably hardly a vacation. Where are you vacating? Well, he vacated Washington. He's out of here. He went on the other side you push of the states. Die. Over there on that east side. Oh, I didn't know we're still looking at humankind. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you sound like you want to disavow it. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Uh, I've never heard of it. Five seconds ago, you're like, hell yeah. You're like, I don't know about this guy. I just don't understand what they're... If they I don't know. I don't, it doesn't seem like they added anything besides... Um, one they say six cultures, but it's one culture per this year. per uh, period or whatever. So it's really not. Back to video games with One Piece Odyssey. Monkey D. Luffy and his crew of pirates are off on their next adventure. This trailer reveals the setting: a mysterious island where Luffy and his straw hat crew become marooned in this exciting. Yeah, who's playing game. fucking Naruto to Boruto, dude? That shit's multiplayer. I had no idea. The straw I was playing this morning, I'm like, this fucking got co-op? You can make your own stupid looking character? I never played the open world game. That came out, right? I think he did. Threw me off, too. Fucking chop chopper, dude. He's going crazy. Look at that mega fist. Day I'd like to see what a triple A anime game would be like. Yeah, there's some like high quality ones out there, but nothing that's like, you know, like a high end triple A like Western game. 
Oda said One Piece is heading toward its finish line. That's fucking crazy. This August, Soul Hackers 2 from Speaking non English language. We've got your first listen to the English voice cast with this quick new look. Ringo. Ringo. Yeah, Dragon Ball Fighters is pretty high quality. You get one more chance to make things right. Took them long enough to you'd figure Dragon Ball anything at some point would have been a uh, push further than others. So but uh No. It seems like Bandai Namco does the uh the highest quality of uh, the anime games. SGF events, you might be wondering how to plan for your summer gaming dreams. Nerd Wallet can help you find the smartest credit card. Nerd Wallet. Your gaming purchases at nerdwallet.com. He said that like he was embarrassed. The epic mega sale is going on right now. Save up to 75% off top PC titles with an additional 25% off eligible products. And it wouldn't be the mega so sale free? without the free games vault featuring Maneater. Be sure to claim your copy oh, before dang. the sale ends on June 16th. Oh, dang. Tune into epic it's a Oh. Twitch channel for our summer showcase on June 10th at 2 p.m. True. Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific. <laughs> We're taking a look at new announcements and updates from PC titles heading to the store this year and beyond. Is the is it true the Saints Row character creator demos out? I kind of want to check that out. I think I saw that. Yeah, I love if all my games are in one place. <laughs> not the, not those though. You nuts. Alright, so we have some downtime. None of this is that interesting to me. So hopefully everybody's doing good. Everybody's having a good night. Thanks for joining us. Mm -hmm. We're having fun. I'm a little tired because it's after work. But I'm here. I'm fucking for it. I'm about it. Drank an energy drink. Feeling good. How you how you feeling? You took a big this old nap today. Chair is. That chair is super comfy. No. Nope. That's why I'm sitting in this one. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, he fucked that guy up. Wasn't Man Eater the shark ARPG that sucked industrial quantities? Man Eater was good. It's okay, 4.30 here. Yeah, earlier when I asked if you were going to be watching the stream and if you could like moderate and shit, fucking, I was like, I don't even know what time it's going to be over there, but it's going to be late. <laughs> but you know, stranger to staying up uh, the until the fucking sun comes up, so. In this, no holds barred, -ish this is one of those games I want to play, but I don't want to buy. So prepare to do whatever it takes to claim victory. So much fun, it hurts. Hi, Mario yeah. Strikers Battle League. Only on Nintendo Switch. Game rated everyone 10 and up. Yeah, I think Maneater was better than it deserved to be. Um, I think it's made by Tripwire though, and they're good at making uh, a making fun developer. games. So it's just you know it's just stupid fun. fun. It's pretty much like a, a like a stupid, gory, actiony Tony Hawk as a shark, because you're just like racking up like. And points and combos and shit, and eating a bunch of people like and then leveling up and, and evolving. So while headbanging isn't mandatory, we do recommend it. Our demo is live now on Steam, Xbox, Who's and PlayStation guy, platforms. Dude? So go check it out and slay to the beat. Ah, uh, yeah, I remember this game. I try to demo this, but it's not. It's too gimmicky for me. Why 
loved Man Eater. You see, dude, fucking a lot of people like it. Damn, that hairdo is metal as fuck with that with the lisp. <laughs> True. The lisp adds to it. How much do these guys pay, dude? This is a long advertisement. Oh, which fire? Yeah, that's the game. Josh called it. That one was Metal Helsinger coming later this I'm year. I'm just happy Uncom that there is rock music. Metal music. And right now, as they mentioned, a demo has launched on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. Oh, I guess I can try it. Free. Next up, I that's why a you were new game that. launches no. the story from <laughs> They said uh, at the beginning. I'm not fucking bad. Dude, I'm looking all, all, all over the place. I'm all over the place. It's getting great reviews, and this is one of those binge-worthy teen horror entertainment experiences where your every choice shapes your story and determines who lives and who dies at a camp in upstate New York. Here's the first look at the launch trailer. I need to do some streams and catch up on these games. What is this? The, the Cory. Oh, okay. You know, like, every last one of them decided to jump down the bottom of a well, and they're all just... That way, when I play through it in its entirety, and I fucking hate it at the I end, I can complain about it for an hour. And then it's on the record, and anybody can watch it any time. Like when I played, uh, oh god, what was the one? I don't even remember what the fuck's called. And what's the point of that? The one on the ship. What? There is a lot more to this than you realize. Like what? <laughs> Kidnapping, murder, cover-ups. I think the whole Hackett family is in on it. You have no idea what's going on here. <laughs> Not a goddamn clue. <laughs> All right, let's do this. <laughs> Should I call? 911. You mean 911? Who says 911? Goodbye, cool world. <laughs> we gotta get out. I'm gonna enjoy watching you die. This isn't a ghost story, it's a creature feature. It's really happening, and you're all in it. This is gonna get a little messy. Them's the rules, you noob. Back at the Game Awards, we were proud to reveal... This game makes me want to bath with a toaster. Bathe with a toaster. Now it's time to give you a brand new look and Are you talking about the quarry or the, the metal it's game? Innovative realm card system that lets you impact Binge worthy like teen horror. Pattern, resources, and that's, uh, that's what I'm all about. They all die, no one lives. Depending on how you play, for sure. Man and Medan, thank you. Thank you for fucking reminding me of a game I goddamn hated. You're alone in the realms, I'm afraid. The portals are... Oh, us. yeah, this game. Not even sure if Nightingale made it. Doesn't look interesting. Yeah. Given how fragile you humans are... Dang. This I want to play. I'd yeah, me too. Staying fed, dry, yep. and rested should be your priority. If the portal arch is inactive, you'll need to make round cards from Man rare Dan was iconic, had it for Game of the Month every month Once for a while, come cards, at me, you can sure. Activate the portal. Oh yeah, no I know. You were definitely a... Foul in the Man of Medan fan club. Void. Waiting to get in. Be ready with your axe pick. I'm always ready with an axe pick. This looks pretty cool. Yeah. If these shadows have offended, 
think but this and all is mended thank you that's what it's called when's that come out I'll play that right fucking now release it yeah looks fucking sick Saints are marching in on August 23rd. Best hour and some change Saints rant. We yeah, no, I was fucking. Gamescom. And today, I was we're happy to announce the launch of the Boss Factory demo across PC oh, and console, okay. which lets you design and set up your character. And since it's Saints Row, you guys are going to have a lot of fun with this one. Check it out. <laughs> guys. You got to do something to capture people's attention. So what do we build next? That was fucking out of control, dude. So good at this. Dude. It's my life goal. Yeah, I want to. I want to try and make the dumbest looking Seriously, fucking character I can. Dinner and a show, baby. Pretty close. Pretty close. I fucking hate that. <laughs> For fuck's sake, Saints Row's a mess. Agreed. Uh, woke Saints. True. Rest in peace, Saints Row. Damn, this is all negative. I'm sitting here going like, I want to make a dumb character in this. And everybody's like, this game's fucking trash. And I'm just like, yeah, yeah I, I can't. I want to make a dumb character too. I can't, I can't disagree. We that's know that by now, man. Yes, a lot of cosmetic customization. That's what the last reveal is about too. That's all they have to offer. Otherwise, they're just giving you what they've gave you before with slightly better graphics. And a very modern... Uh, uh, design to it, but yeah, they they have put a lot of work into uh, into the customization. So I would like to uh, check it out, but it's not enough to make the game good. Empires, I'm sorry, Saints Row isn't Saints Row without werewolves at the least. Very true. And it's out on September 13th for PC. Can't wait. I'm so excited. Exclusively on console. Yeah, can't wait for this game. So excited. Let me see it. This is the one. This is the one. I found out there was a trailer. Hopefully it's a gameplay one though, because a couple days ago they had a, uh, a trailer that came out as well. But it's just a cinematic. How's that guy fit indoors? <clears throat> yeah, this will definitely be fun. I like how that knife he's holding looks like a little baby knife to him, but to anybody else it's probably just a giant fucking sword. Damn. That's so fucking big, it's ridiculous. <laughs>
Looks very cool. Looks like a day super, one buy. Super stoked. Our team is known for psychological horror games like Blair Witch and The Medium. Today, they are ready to reveal their latest creation made completely in Unreal Engine 5 for a visceral... I am a fan game. of Warhammer video games. I have not really played Warhammer, but yeah, I like a lot of the games. Cringe so hard I shit on myself. Fucking Saints Row. <laughs> <laughs> I hated saying that. Uh, doors fitter on him. They kind of have to. Uh, Fat Shark is the Vermintide team. Yeah, yeah, it's the same guys. Yeah. Uh, this I F's with. Yeah, dude, I'm fucking stoked for that. Uh, yeah, they made Vermintide. Yeah, it's essentially 40k, but um, Vermintide. Or Vermintide, but 40k. Looks fucking awesome. Can't wait to play it. Yeah. Did they say this was a Bloober team? Or did I mishear that? Don't recall. Still, still stoked about Dark Tide. True. My fear, pain, and hatred of the horror of my loneliness. And it is mine to tell. Now I see it. All this misery. All this Didn't suffering. catch it. There was no other way. Yeah, for a second I thought they said Bloober Team, and I'm like, that'd be good, because then we can get the fucking rumors out of the way of them making a Silent Hill game that people keep talking about. This looks cool, though. Whatever it is. An empty shell cannot live forever. It cannot live at all. I agree with that. It is definitely a... Uh... Oh yeah, Blue Routine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, interesting. Okay, so they're not making Silent Hill. Uh, I agree, violin and violins are definitely this a cliche October, for horror, but Gotham I think it did work for that as well. Batman is dead, so the is Batman this the same family, game, just Batgirl, remade in Nightwing, Unreal 5? Was there an original one? Because that would make sense. New look, let's head to Montreal to hear from executive producer, Music sounds Silent Hill like. I don't know, man. It didn't sound like a Kiriyamoka to me. Hello, and warm welcome from WB Games Montreal. I'm Fleur Marty. I'm the executive producer on Gotham Knights. Today, we are thrilled Yo, you know a game I can't wait to play? Gotham Knights. This showcase is the first in our character series. Very and we're really for looking forward to share more with you as we continue hope working it's fun. towards our launch on October 25th. Floaty. So, oh, I hope, I hope you enjoy fun. the show and stay tuned. nothing and then this city became my home its people became my family. didn't we already see nightwing gotham gave me everything don't they show somebody else it deserves to feel safe can't wait so much that i'm not fair kind of hyped for this one yeah maybe you and me will have to play a co-op unless it comes out and gets like horrible reviews then I'll just wait and see if anyone I know is into it. Does she have a torn bicep or... Well, I have no idea. Look forward to Suicide Squad and this. Suicide Squad looks cool, for sure. Do you? you? Got gorilla arms. That's what you got. Yeah, subject matter for Suicide Squad doesn't do much for me, but uh, Rocksteady making anything I think deserves attention. Neil Druckmann from Naughty Dog, co-president of Naughty Dog. 
Uh, great to have you with us, Neil. It's been a uh, an eventful day on the internet for Naughty Dog fans, I mean, and uh, I think we jinxed ourselves. We were joking about last night, like watch the ass assets will leak, and yes. lo and behold, that's what happened. Well, the good news is there's some stuff that hasn't leaked that we have lots to share with people about uh, all things at Naughty Dog. But first of all, it is a you know it's a big month actually for last. I think it's fucking fans. hilarious uh, that PlayStation uh, leaked it. Both launched in June, and it's nearing its two-year anniversary for Last of Us uh, Part Two, which is is hard to hard to believe. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, um, you know, nine years for Last of Us 1, two years for Last of Us Part 2, and we still hear from fans. They're still sending us letters and art, and these characters in this journey and this world mean so much to them. Um, and it's, it's just been kind of amazing. Like, Last of Us Part 2, early this year, passed a pretty big milestone. It sold over 10 million units. And that kind of support, that kind of success, um, we're so grateful to our fans. It has allowed us to grow as a studio, and now we can take on multiple projects, more than we've ever had at the same time. Multiple projects. Okay, very interesting. So, uh, what can Last of, Us, Last of Us fans expect in the future from you? Thank you for asking, Jeff. Yes. Uh, so, one of the things we've mentioned a while back is what started out as a multiplayer mode has evolved due to the team's ambition. They really wanted to. Yeah, where the fuck is that at? We've ever done before at Naughty Dog, and we felt the way to do it justice is to make it a standalone title. And over the, they've been working on it for the past two years. Ambition has grown. And we're not quite ready to fully unveil it, but we're ready to lift the curtain a little bit and just give you like an update of where we're at. Okay, well, uh, what can you tell us about this new standalone multiplayer game? Yeah, so uh, we have a concept art that we want to show. Yeah. Um, uh, but what, what I can tell you there Whoa. is that this game is big. Okay. Um, it's as big as any of our single player games that we've done and in some ways bigger. It's got a story. Um, the way we're telling hmm. that story is very unique to this game. Um, it's got a brand new cast of characters <laughs> that takes place at another place, uh, another part of the United States. It's like a city might be somewhat familiar, some people. I'm sure our fans have already figured it out. Um, uh, and it's, it's, it's really cool. And it's being headed by Vinith Uggerwal, um, Anthony Newman, and uh, Joe Padnatti, all veterans of Uncharted and Last of Us. And you're going to see a lot more of this game come next year. Next year, so I wait till next year to hear more next about that year. one. God okay. damn, it well, fucking better be worth it. Uh, this has evolved, and I mean, that concept art looks incredible. I can't wait to see Naughty Dog storytelling fused with multiplayer live game. Uh, it's it's right. something special. I, we can't wait to show it either. Okay, well, um, it's got to be if they've been working on that have fucking long. That I've been reading about on the internet every day. It feels like up in <laughs> Calgary, they're filming the Last of Us show for HBO, right? Yeah, so uh, for the past year, um, you know, we've teamed up with Craig Mazin of Chernobyl fame and HBO to adapt The Last of Us into a TV, uh, TV show. Um, they've been filming, and uh, it's pretty incredible. The stuff I'm getting back, when we're looking at back at Naughty Dog, we can't help but feel emotional because not only is it so good and the quality is so high, it's so authentic to what we've made in the game. Um, and... Uh, I, I just can't, I couldn't be proud of, like, again, Craig and that whole crew and everybody that's up there. Uh, and they're actually, their last day of filming is tomorrow. So the entire series, last day of filming is last tomorrow. Last day of filming is tomorrow. Craig is up there right now, wow. kind of wrapping it all up. Uh, so it's, it's pretty close. It's closer than you might think. And you actually got to direct one of the episodes? Yes, uh, I think that really speaks to the kind of collaboration and trust that exists between Naughty Dog and HBO. They invited me to direct one of the episodes. Um, I think we have an image from the episode I actually directed. Ooh, okay. Um, so we could first look. Let's take. <laughs> so wow. you can see uh, this is a certain museum that yep. players might know from the game. Um, and I really have to talk about Pedro Pascal hmm. and Bella Ramsey and not only directing them but seeing them do all the other episodes. They've thrown themselves at these roles um, for a whole year. Watching the nuance that they bring to these characters, yeah, I liked their it relationship too. on and off camera, I couldn't help but think about. Though I understand a lot of the complaints, I think you got so to play from the beginning to end of it, though. To um, when we made the game. Um, and it at least have the opportunity like to appreciate it. Something special, and uh, I will say this will be the most authentic video game adaptation yet. But well, please do me a favor. Let's that not that talk that about the details. The last was part two because Chevy has not experienced it. I'd like him to experience that awesome without to see, uh, uh, from knowing from everything about it. First time. Um, so we'll see more of that uh, next year. That's coming as well, right, Sirius? Uh, you'll hear about it very soon. That's, that's okay. all I'll say right now. All right. Well, Last of Us HBO, very, very exciting. I loved it, uh, but I'm not a video gamer. I hear you True, dude. Have a couple actors from the show who are uh, going to join we us here. Happen to have a couple Transcend. Part of the show. Okay. Come on up. Shavi. 
Oh, what's up, guys? Oh, hello. Who are these nerds? Surprise. Tro Troy's back again. Who are these again? fucking nerds, dude? Oh, I don't know these people. Uh, I'm a little confused, though. I, I thought maybe Pedro Damn Bello, me. but Troy Asher out here uh, from the game, Ellie's right? Toxic so, Avenger. Uh, when Craig and I started working on the show, <laughs> almost one of our first yeah, true, dude. we said, Troy and Ashley have to be a part of it. Um, and we're such fans of, like, the talent and the help, like, helping us create Joel and Ellie. Um, we felt like it was so important that they become part of the show. And it wasn't, it's, it has to be more than just like, kind of like a wink to the camera and like a cameo. Okay. These are real roles that we're keeping on the wraps for now. Uh -huh. uh, That's cool. Man, I was bummed that I couldn't be there with you guys when you filmed your stuff. That, there's been so much it's stuff so, I feel like. It's so, so good. On the internet, there's so much like, talk about what's being filmed. And I think that's, you guys have kept a complete secret that you, so you were up there and you, you filmed your roles by now, obviously. Uh, well, keeping yeah. secrets yeah. with this franchise is kind of old hat. Like we've Except had- for today. Yeah. Except, yeah. For today. Yeah. <laughs> Except for today. Except for today. It was, it was one of the hardest things for us to do is to let, not let people know that, because we're so proud of it and the work that we did, we worked hard, the, the crew. I have to say, um, when I walked out on set, um, to be met with literally every person that Troy deserves crew, double stage time uh, is such a fan of this game and they guys all did a lot in games what it was that they were working on and committed to working on this project because of their fan and their love for the for the game uh, he's in like one of the greatest it was like 60 percent of the games that exist right now <laughs> yeah I, I the attention to detail the crew was amazing Bella and Pedro are man I they're so perfect and it it we we've been trying to sort of describe that feeling of sort of seeing them in person it's it's like it's like the characters coming to life but it it it's so much more than that i feel like i can't fully explain it but i am so excited to be a part of it and just i'm excited about the paycheck i, I got <laughs> so good it's it's so I love the story. True, I love Dude, those I, I ankles look so, so fucking cold. I the series and the fact that you guys are gonna be in it and undisclosed. He's feeling every breeze. How it's gonna sort of bob and weave and, and you know, are these characters we know from the game that they're playing? New characters? Can you tell us anything? <laughs> yes. Mm. <laughs> I can tell you. So sneaky. All right. Well, we're so excited to Maybe it's already on Twitter by now. <laughs> <laughs> hey. All right. Well, Let's talk about what was on Twitter earlier uh, today. Lots of talk about uh, the idea, or really what's happening is it looks like you guys are remaking the original game, and this is like a ground-up remake, is that right? That's right. Uh, we wanted to give people the definitive version of the, the first game that wasn't encumbered by any technology. Uh, wanted to find a way to get even closer to our original vision, uh, and we're able to do it on the PS5 and PC, and instead of talking about it, let's look at it. All right, let's take a look at The Last of Us Part one. Instead of talk about it. Instead of talk about it, we look about it. <laughs> right now about it. I've been on quite the adventure, little brother. I reckon it's got something to do with that girl. It's got everything to do with that little girl. You know, I've never been this close to the outside. So is that everything you hope for? Can't be any worse out there. Can it? Once upon a time, I had somebody that I cared about. True. In this world, that's good for one thing. Get so that's for remix though i i saw what you're saying earlier i think i got the grasp of it you're not into the idea of them remaking games that you feel don't need to be remade as of right now and there's good case to be made for this game because this game is i think almost 10 years old came out on ps3 obviously everybody knows that um and as long as this doesn't take away from naughty dog projects that are happening with their main teams i don't think there's an issue I am a big fan of the original Last of Us, though, so I am very excited for this. I will play through this decade. for like the eighth time. Uh, yeah, we hadn't seen that yet. I definitely yeah, want to see it on PS5, time. but uh, I also could take them not making a remake of this as well, because I think the original is still really good. My, I'm hoping they they build this up in the uh, Part Two engine so that you get all like the gameplay of Part Two because it plays much better than the first one. 
and then the animators went back and but yeah it definitely looks much better how much it has changed it's also interesting that the character models um look more like the younger versions of part two's character models which only makes sense but it's really interesting the great thing about these faces is that um, they're closer to the original performance. Our, all the animators went and studied those videos and got it closer to what you did on set than mm. we could have achieved before. Um, and that's just like that's one cool. of the things um, we could talk about, like this brand new AI, like all the combat is, like, is, is redone. Um, just uh, the fidelity of everything, 60 frames per second, all this yeah, stuff. Yeah, what's with these subtitles anyway? <laughs> I don't even have this shit on ever. <laughs> because this, they're all, all new players for PS5 and PC. Yeah. We wanted them to have the definitive version. You just said that. I looked down and it was like, he very, like, saying a bunch of crazy <laughs> shit. I'm like, I don't even know what the fuck's happening. I, I actually played it again just to refresh my memory before yeah. working on the show. Uh -huh. Um... I was. I don't even know what happened in the game. And I went straight from playing uh, yeah, part never played one it. straight into <laughs> part two. Um, and so the last time that I played literally would have been two years ago since we're celebrating the anniversary of part two coming out. So, I mean, it looks Understandable like Understandable sort of yeah, subtitles are striking yeah, out. They are. Back, yeah, was, uh, okay. You guys yeah, they're fucking going insane. Original game and it's, it's really when you play it, when you see Blame it, Google. It's really yeah. night and day from what, what it used to be. I imagine that, you know, the, think of The Last of Us 2 combat, but kind of that back in the last of us one well it's the whole like all the yeah. new animation system the okay AI cool system, everything we've learned on, yeah see like, that enough makes it worth it to me i mean the graphic so overhaul is gonna be nice version. but the gameplay of part two out, is much uh, better than part one headed up by uh, matthew gallant and shauna sky okay. uh, and you'll hear a lot more about it and see a lot more about it over the coming weeks leading Maybe up I'll to the it. release september 2nd on PS5. should all right well, shortly thereafter on pc we will probably auto you, subtitles Neil, from a lot indie company youtube games directed by other True. people what, what are you directing you still making games still making games okay. uh, i haven't given up my my day job uh it's a little early to talk about it maybe if someone in place and wants to leak it then we can yeah. talk about it now uh <laughs> otherwise uh we'll save but it you do have a new project do have a new project okay. uh but we'll save it for another summer game fest okay <laughs> okay well we'll see we'll try and save it all right <laughs> Troy, Ashley Beal, thank you so much for dropping by Summer Game Fest, and I am so yeah, excited. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm all about it, though. I'm stoked to play this again. So thanks, guys. Appreciate awesome. it. Thanks, Jeff. Awesome. But uh, definitely not needed. All right, well, that is going to do it. Thanks to Naughty Dog and PlayStation for that. More interested in factions, man. I wonder what the fuck they're doing the with it. The franchise and where things are going. Um, very, very excited about that. All right, Summer Game Fest continues over the next few days. Coming up right now on this very stream is I the fuck they're working I am 8 on. Double fine the game again to jar my plan memory plan. in and Troy. Can you expand on that and tomorrow, take over too Netflix so I can stop Geek talking? Week, which I'll be co -hosting, and the also Trek true. Game showcase streaming, along the with the they were so I assume finally, Sunday, I think there's a good chance Xbox it's either going to be another Uncharted or another Last of Us. I feel like because they already said they're working on the story for Last of Us 3. Live so it makes sense if they start working on that again. I would love a new IP, though, especially with Neil Druckmann part of it, since he's going to obviously head whatever their A team is. Um, but yeah, I would just bet on uh, Last of Us Part 3, probably. To bring the gaming community together. Thanks for being a part of Summer Game Fest. And remember, there are more events and announcements to come. We'll see you soon. All right. Well, that was the Summer Game Fest. Let's uh, let's talk about it. So, what do you think, sir? Um, I thought it was pretty disappointing. Yeah. Um, I mean, I guess maybe that's being a little harsh because I there was some stuff in the beginning I thought was cool. Um, I'm always super stoked for any uh 40k things. So. Like living for the like three minute Dark Tide trailer, um, but yeah, there really um, was not a ton of stuff that I was super interested in. Hmm. Fair. I think uh, the whole thing started off pretty strong. We got a lot of um, new stuff. We got a lot of things we already have seen, but we're seeing more on like, um, you know, modern warfare, Callisto protocol, which I, uh, was really stoked to see more of on that. Um, I think it ended, uh, well as well, but it ended with the last of us. So it was a good way to end. There was a section in like, I don't know, the three fourths of the way through where fucking it, it really slowed down. We started yeah. getting into indie territory and that's going to be hit or miss because, you know, there's a lot of different people, a lot of different indie devs making a lot of different games for different people. Um, 
And there's some cool stuff there, but there's also a lot of PlayStation Plus games I'm seeing in the future that I'm going to be playing. Um, and so that was kind of where it slowed down, not as interesting. Um, but yeah, I think the beginning was pretty strong. I think the end was strong, although it was just Last of Us. And uh, overall, I liked it, but I think it could have been better. But I think Jeff Keighley was responsible when he told people to kind of temper their expectations. Um and uh, I think he did bring a lot of really cool stuff. But um, with the amount of stuff here, some of it, if not quite a bit of it, was okay. But I'm glad I saw it all just because I'm interested in all this stuff. But there was probably about four or five things here that I was like really stoked for. And that's good because I've watched presentations before that like they have nothing that I care about. So um, I will take that. Um, let's see what we got here. Um, all I wanted was Dragon's Dogma 2 announcement. That would have been amazing. I would be very happy with that myself. Uh, Dragon's Scalebound. I would also be very happy with a Scalebound announcement, but I will not hold my breath for that. It was way better than if it was way worse. That is a fair assessment. I think you're 100% accurate on that. The two biggest announcements were Remix, Modern Warfare 2 and The Last of Us. Yeah, uh... I would say Last of Us is definitely a remake. Modern Warfare 2 is going to be it's a reboot, unless it is a full-on remake, but it looks like a, a brand new game, um, similar to the 2019 version. Can't wait for Callisto, though. Definitely excited for that as well. Looks awesome. It was all right. I wasn't expecting a lot, though. I got my big announcements via State of Play. That's the thing that kind of sucks, is like State of Play was like a really good State of Play. And uh, I think overall, like I, I enjoyed the whole thing and a lot of it that we saw in there we saw here as well so i think it kind of um shot this in the foot a little bit also the leak of uh last of us part one also didn't help because that took away the excitement of that we've been hearing rumors about that we've been hearing the speculation for a while but um having it actually announced the way it's supposed to would have been a lot better than the way playstation just kind of listed it for everybody to uh, to see so i think i did take away from it quite a bit um, let's see. Callisto looks great, blatantly dead space, but that's not a me problem. <laughs> that's fair. Uh, that was, th that's the funny thing is when I first saw it, I was like, this looks like dead space. This, like this has to be inspired by dead space. Um, the, uh, even like the way the gun and the shooting looks and like the way the reticle looks, all that stuff. I was like, this is fucking dead space. And then I posted the thing on TikTok about it. And then, like I said, I think, uh, I think one of the devs, uh, replied to me about it because he was like there's 10 people from uh the original dead space they're working on this game and i was like oh that makes a lot of sense and then i see it here and they they talked about it so i'm like this is just fucking this is the spirit, spiritual successor to dead space which makes me less less interested in the dead space remake although i am curious about that but this looks way more um uh impressive to me than that dead space remake that's just for some reason that thing doesn't look that great to me um all right good night all i gotta at least get these four hours of sleep before work all right was well, good seeing you jeremy i'm gonna start trying to do streams again so hopefully i see you soon uh sleep good and i will talk to you later uh the severed head enemy is from dead space yeah i mean a lot of the stuff i mean i i know exactly what you're saying but like uh so many little things in it seem like it's like directly from dead space it's just like they're not um Oh fuck! What are they called? Necromorphs? Uh, they're not. They're not that character model. Now they're like these like zombie style dudes. Um, it's almost like Dead Space meets Doom, like Doom Three, which uh, I'm not complaining. It's definitely a game I want to play. But yeah, uh, Modern Warfare Two is looking cool. Um, I can understand anyone who's not interested in that. Although the gameplay we saw graphically, I think looks good. Uh, the gameplay itself is kind of like the order 1886. You just kind of stand around shooting at things. So wasn't the most impressed with that. Um, but I'm sure it'll be fun and I'm looking forward to, uh, multiplayer because I really liked what they did in 2019. Oh, there you are. Um, Let's see. Dang, dude, we got a Mirko. What else? The uh, Marvel game? Midnight Suns? 
uh, we didn't really see gameplay a whole lot, but uh, you know, I'm looking forward to that. Fort Solace looks um, interesting. Definitely curious about what they're doing with that. Although uh, it does just seems like it's gonna be like a narrative based game. From what I saw, though, it seems less dark and mental than Dead Space was. Give me a more actiony vibe, or g- gives me a more actiony vibe. Uh, not the same atmosphere, but just judging from the reveals and the score I heard. Yeah, the only thing I think feels like Dead Space atmosphere wise is you're walking through like a lot of dark corridors where things are like really up close to you. Um, we saw a couple scenes where he's like squeezing between things that are doing certain things like the, the body that like looks at him, whatever. Um, and then also like the ultra gory, uh, deaths to your character, uh, feels very dead space to me. Um, also, uh, the combat feels very dead space in the sense of like the limbs they are aiming for, uh, the short amount of distance they have to close in on to fight you or attack you. Um, it does seem like they're giving you a lot of really interesting tools, like being able to pull them to you and then throw them away for some reason. Not complaining. It definitely is cool. But, um, yeah, that, that feels a little different. But, uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's definitely different in a lot of ways, but very similar in a lot of ways, too. Um, damn, dude, what's up? <laughs> Let's I don't know what's see. going on up there, but his face is... Yeah, dude, what the fuck? What do you get into? Uh, that's a weird snake. That is a weird snake, dude. You want to fucking you want to pull him up to the show off this snake, dude? The snake boy. Okay, okay, okay. Hopefully, it doesn't destroy anything. I think he's on screen. <laughs> there he is. This is for anybody who's curious. Mirko. He is our. Uh, he's our snake. Say hi, dude. He's not. He's deaf, dude. He can't hear. Um, yeah. What else really stood out? The Ninja Turtles game looks really cool. Oh yeah. It's not really what I I watch these kind of presentations for, but um, it it looks dope. I'm definitely down to play that shit, especially six player co op. What the fuck's up with that? <laughs> not complaining. That sounds crazy as shit. Street Fighter Six is looking cool. I'm not a big Street Fighter guy, but what I'm seeing visually looks really cool. I'm sure if you're a Street Fighter fan. You're probably really excited unless you hate the design of the characters, which I have been seeing a lot of people saying. Um, but, uh, yeah. Ooh, What's uh, that other horror game? Did you talk about it? Something. The Solace one? or No, the one after that. With the camera. Oh, yeah. I don't remember what that was called, but that was really cool looking too. I want to see more on that, but uh, yeah. the, the graphics and the style was really cool. Um, another one that I'm really stoked for is Nightingale. Yes. The uh, survival game that has like a really interesting um, art style to it. That's mm-hmm. definitely not this. This is so weird. I'm, I'm seeing a preview on YouTube and it's showing me what I think I'm going to click on. And then when I <laughs> click, it's not that. This whole thing's fucking cursed. <laughs> uh, been watching stuff on 6, hopeful. Yeah, I definitely want to try it out. I feel like um, because Street Fighter doesn't just get popped out every like year or two. Um Regardless of how much I'm into Street Fighter, I feel like I need to play it. So I'll probably pick it up because um, you know it's it's one of the big one of the big fighting games. I feel like if you're into fighting games, you gotta play it. Um, yeah, there, I mean, there's a lot of stuff here, a lot of stuff, a lot of cool stuff, a lot of stuff I could care couldn't care less about. So um, yeah, overall though, I liked it. Didn't love it. Could have been better. I understand why some people were were pretty rough on this saying it was shitty some people saying it was meh um this took a ton of feedback after five i hope so i know five when it launched people weren't happy with it and then later it became something that people liked more so um i would hope that they are uh, uh strategizing better but uh but yeah i get where people are coming from i don't typically I'm not as inclined to just be like things are shit so easily, but uh, it was definitely probably one of the more weaker uh, summer game fest slash, you know, game award style things Jeff Keighley's done, but we still got some cool stuff, so I can't complain too much. Uh, Sarah, if you could grade the whole presentation that includes what we saw, the way the presentation was conducted, Jeff Keighley's performance and everybody else's performance, what would you grade it? A B. A B? Yeah. It's pretty good. Um, yeah, I mean, I've seen way worse <laughs> presentations. I feel yeah. like I, you know, EA. I feel Every like EA presentation. 
in general, I mean, I'm I'm not going to say we'll always be like this forever, but in general, I feel like Jeff Keighley's events are, you know, focused on showing trailers and kind of like getting to the point and not a lot of... Outside of the ads, but yeah. Well... With The Rock I showing mean, up. Even that, I feel like, was in moderation in comparison to other presentations, so... Yeah. Um, you know, I appreciate that. I think its biggest downfall is that uh, there were not that many games that I was super interested in, but overall, I think the presentation was uh, good. Yeah. Uh, I'll give my grade in a sec, but writer says, I probably qualify as one of those who hate the character design. Not really hate it, I guess. Just don't bring it in my life. No part of my sensory perception should enter contact with it. That's fair. That's fair. I have to admit, when I first saw the uh, the character designs, I'm not the biggest fan of it either. But I, I do appreciate that the whole game seems to have a shared vision in its aesthetic. And so I, I like that. I like that it's not sloppy feeling. At least there is something they are going for. Um, but uh, but it is not preferable. But I think some of that is is my long bias since I was a child playing Street Fighter and seeing the characters that I've known for a long time in my life looking pretty fucking different so um i have to i have to kind of think about that before i go like oh i fucking hate them but uh, i also assume that we're going to get classic classic costumes in the game i have to assume that it'd be crazy if they didn't do that so um, i'm sure they'll be able to fix that um just fine hopefully hopefully the stream didn't freeze because on my phone it's not doing anything anyway um C plus was fine with some cool stuff. That's pretty low, pretty low, but passing. So fair. Um, yeah. Are you guys still there? Are we, do we still got a stream going? <laughs> Cause on my, okay. Maybe it's just my phone. Maybe my phone's just pissed. Stream's still going. Thank you. Um, and remember we're going to watch the devolver thing. So we're not done yet. And that's gonna be 25 minutes. So we still got at least, you know, 30, 40 minutes left of this stream. Um, I'm going to, fuck, I don't know what I'm going to give this. <laughs> I think there's some good stuff. I think some stuff was ruined. I think the presentation was done well outside of the one thing. I think my biggest complaint of the whole uh, presentation was the ad with The Rock. I didn't care about it. I didn't like it. I didn't like anything about it. And it was shameless. It was fucking gross. Um, so I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to give it a B as well. I almost went B minus. But, uh. You know, there's some good stuff here. There's some really good stuff in here, but it's it's in between a lot of really fucking meh fluff that I wasn't a huge fan of. But it's not all for me, and I think the presentation was done well. And I like the way Jeff Keighley does his presentations because I think he does typically respect people's time, and he is genuinely excited and he wants people to be excited about games. So um, I can appreciate that. But um, we didn't get a lot of the big bangers here. The biggest banger here, I think, for the the vast majority of people is probably last of us remake. And even then a lot of people are questioning why we're even getting a remake of it. So, you know, um, once it comes out, I'm sure people will play it, but, uh, you know, I, I think, you know, it's kind of mixed reception, although, uh, I think people are going to like it regardless. So, um, yeah, B, B weak, light B, but I think it was a B. I don't think there's really much bad with the presentation. Just, I wish there's something more something bigger something crazier especially with that fucking hideo kojima overdose leak that happened what, what's that alluding to where are we going with that is that kojima fucking with people or uh is there an announcement coming up soon like i don't know what's going with that um but anyway yeah light b uh stream still going street fighter 6 classic costume bundle 5.99 yeah, and I, whether that is factual, what you're saying right now, or it, you know, we're just taking a guess, I believe that. Um, I'm sure they will sell them to you, for sure. Uh, okay, okay out of 10. Has a little something for everyone. The Dark Souls of Summer Game Fest. <laughs> I hate that. Um, all right, dude. Okay, okay out of 10. That's a, that's a good one. That's funny, because like, I, I uh, talked to a couple people at work. I hopped on twitter for a split second and then had to hop off real fast uh i just saw and heard a lot of people going like yeah it's okay it was an okay presentation now i watch i'm like yeah yeah i mean it, it was okay i think it's a little better than okay but i i would never dispute that uh let's see energy drink black adam hashtag i'm not doing that hashtag dude 
fuck that shit. <laughs> his camera was pissing me off too. Like the background was like jittering and stuff. I'm like, what are you fucking filming? He's probably using a phone. That would make the most sense. Um, and Saints Row. I'm gonna try out this demo, but I honestly have. I can't think of a game like typically if I look at a game, I'm like, I'm not interested in that or I'm interested in that or I'm stoked for this. But Saints Row, I'm like, I got nothing for this game. I barely have an opinion. It looks fucking it just looks whatever. But I want to check out the character creator and make an ugly fucking character. So I might do that, but I also have better ways to waste my time. So I don't know if I'm going to do that. Um, I've not heard I've not heard one fucking person say anything even remotely okay about this game. <laughs> I'm not even trying to say it like it's an insult. I just, I haven't heard it. I haven't heard anybody go like, I'm actually really fucking excited for it. I've not heard that once. It's crazy. All right. Well, we'll give this another couple minutes. Let us know your thoughts uh, in the chat when it comes to this presentation. Was there something you were hoping for? Scalebound. Um, and, uh, you know, was there something you regret that they showed off? And uh, yeah, final thoughts on this. And then we're going to move, move over to Di uh, bleh, Devolver Digital uh, 2020 Showcase. Um, 2022 Showcase. I just keep looking at this. I keep thinking I want to play this game. So. Yeah. And seeing the gameplay, really stoked to play Dark Tide. But um, it's already a game that I was anticipating and stoked for anyway. So really yeah this th it adds to the presentation in the sense that it reminds me i want to play this game but i'm like already like 100 percent sold in this game so it's like yeah that's i mean well, it's cool it's cool i'm not gonna that, complain i saw earlier on twitter that they showed a trailer for this and like resisted watching it and got myself really super hyped for it and so that trailer was um i think a little bit underwhelming but only because I raised my own expectations. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but it's, yeah, cool to see gameplay. I think the characters are interesting. I wish they would go more into depth with it, I guess. But, you know. Yeah, I'd like to see a video where just break down the characters, the gameplay, yeah. all that kind of stuff. Um, but I'm already sold. Chainsaw. But, yeah. Yeah. Anything I want to hear about, I sure wasn't going to, or sure wasn't going to be here fair i mean a lot of cosmetic and surface level customization is nice but i don't really get off to it if you know what i mean not that much of a selling point i need some more meat on that bone i'm actually in the exact same page as you in that sense of like cosmetic stuff doesn't sell a game to me and i know a lot of people who get really excited about that um i like it as well as long as it's a game that i already am planning on investing a lot of time in um but i will not play or buy your game just because i can make a really detailed character um i've kind of learned that lesson over like years now especially as i've gotten older if i play a game that i know i'm not gonna invest a whole lot of time in and there's a character creator with a lot of options i won't even waste my time making the character i'll just make like a real quick default character and move forward so um it's got to be the right game that offers the the character customization it's not enough anymore for me to uh, get excited about it. I remember that used to be like a pretty big selling point of games when that like, you know, you're going to be able to do all this stuff with your character and shit. And now it's like, you know, I appreciate when people do it, but if it's on top of a game that's not exciting, it's it doesn't mean anything to me. So, but uh, because there is a, uh, a demo, I, uh, you know, I don't think I can lose my time. So uh, also I'm interested in this, uh, Bloober team game, but I still haven't even played their last game. So I don't even know if they make good games and I heard pretty meh things about that. Um, the medium, I think it was called. Um, and with the amount of people going and talking about Bloober, Bloober making a fucking Silent Hill game, I don't know why. Like, I guess the medium was inspired by Silent Hill, but that doesn't mean they get, they're going to make a fucking Silent Hill game. Um, so yeah, those are my thoughts. All right, we're going to wrap this up and move over to Devolver. So, yeah. And anybody watching this after the fact, let us know in the comments. What do you guys think about the Summer Game Fest? What were the highlights? What were the disappointments? What were you hoping to see? Did you see something you wanted to see? And what would you grade it? How much did you like it? Was it meant to you? Was it amazing? Was it the best thing you ever seen in your life? Was it the worst thing you ever seen in your life? And, yeah, let me know everything you think about in the comments below. Used to think if I need to spend an hour in character creation screen, the problem is with the game. They can't make presets, which is apparently true according to devs I know, but it's also a cope. Yeah. 
Very true. Cope. Copium. All right. Let's move over to Devolver because it's getting late and uh, we got to get through this. So this is a Devolver Digital's uh, showcase called uh, something about marketing. I forgot what they call it, but uh, we'll see soon. Um, this is a different video with different audio levels. So if we are coming in too loud, too quiet, let me know. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's have fun. And uh, we're going to watch this in three. You ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Go. You goons listen, and you listen good. I don't give a flying fuck flip about the marketing reports. We are losing consumer attention. They are bored to shit We've done everything with... we can on that front. The hell you have, Zane. The hell you have. What you've done are worldwide exclusives, fancy transitions, expensive pre-recorded presentations, fake live events, live live events, and some dipshit narrative garbage that didn't go anywhere. Melissa, data. The data is clear. The industry analytics point to fragmented attention in every consumer focused vector but one. And that is? The, the countdowns. Those ridiculous 30 minute celebrity soaked attention grab countdowns before a company's actual presentation actually starts actually. True. They are big, dumb, wasteful, empty, and they work. She's right. I want to let Of course I'm fucking right. So this year, we're counting down. That's the focus. The countdown. It's all about the count. No holds barred. Anything goes. All stops pulled out of where the fuck stops are that people keep pulling them out of. Yeah, okay, sure. But what are we counting down to? Like, what happens when we get to zero? It doesn't fucking matter. You can propose to your mistress for all I care. I just want big number consumer eyeballs drying out as they watch a marketing-laden countdown where we're drip-feeding them brand awareness and purchase intent until they climax in their G-fuel-soaked gamer chairs. <laughs> no. Not yet. Gross. I'm getting it, though. So who do we have on deck to host this thing? I mean, we need someone, right? Do, do a celebrity? Ooh, can we get James Vanderbeek? <laughs> Team Pacey, huh? I'm just saying, to the people A are gonna... giant fucking robot with whoever the shit we want inside of it hosting our show. Inside of it. Hosting our show. I'm sorry, what? Ew. Hold. We've designed, developed, and deployed a wideband interlocal net modulated telepresence experience through which a virtual host can virtually host our virtually hosted countdown broadcast. So what, like a Zoom call? No, no, not like a Zoom. Margaret? Now. It's amazing how much effort they put into these. What the fuck is that? What's up, n -n <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Fucking love it. ニュージーゴフン、ゴジュニビョ、ゴジュニビョ、ニュージーゴフン、ゴジュイチビョ、ニュージーゴフン、ゴジュニビョ、ニュージーゴフン、ゴジュイチビョ、ニュージーゴフ
It's also equipped with a tricordal thermonuclear central mass displacement cannon. Hot stuff. Uh, give me the button. Okay, yeah, sure. Whatever. What say you and I put the marketing into the Devolver Digital Marketing Countdown to Marketing and give the fine audience at home something to throw money at their screens for? Uh, it works. We did it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna put Bolt of Lamb release date trailer. Eighty-nine and three-quarter billion dollars, and we use it to hawk a video game. Here. Pig boy. Is this that Cult of the Lamb game? I feel like it probably is. Oh yeah, lamb time. Such a, a fucking devolver game. It's so bizarre. <laughs> Damn. Shit's getting weird. Wholesome. Devolver's only wholesome. It's not a good thing. Who? Devolver? No, we didn't make that. Oh, okay. Massive monster made it. People are gonna be obsessed with this. I thought you said it was coming out on your birthday. I was well, no, like, cool, dude. The videos. We're the publisher. We publish the games. That's important stuff, you know. It's basically the same thing as making the games without all the, you know, effort, creativity, time, energy that goes into making said game. I think of us as a humanitarian service, like FEMA or Crocs. You guys see the numbers? That sheep game or whatever did us a duper mad spike. Wild stuff. Really wild stuff. What the fuck is that? It tastes like baby food. Have you guys like seen the numbers? Baby? I know, right? No, you don't know. What do you know? I know the numbers keep going like this. I'm gonna buy a house. What's going on? Is it working? On the fucking moon. Like, you know, pre sales engagement. But these numbers are like nothing we've ever seen. Well, that's good though, right? They're too good. Nina, these numbers are like nothing anyone has seen. Something's wrong. We need to tell Hazel this needs to stop. Whoa, 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 there, sport. Just corral up all your little horses, take a breath, make some sense. Well, what I'm saying is that it doesn't make sense. It can't make sense. According to the tracking, we just. Are you guys fucking with the numbers? No one's mm -hmm. fucking with anything. We just rolled a shit hot trip. What the holy heck is going on with these numbers? What's at the end of 2001 with gigantic Jupiter space baby and Dave's all shriveled up and the computer's going nuts like beep boop 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 beep boop. Ah, this thing is doing. It's strange. It's a time clock. Assembler. Hmm, it's strange. This data to analyze is a specific amount of time. That's a weirdly specific amount of time. I wonder if. I hope to trip. Dang. So born, but with guns meets uh, Hotline Miami. <laughs> Oh, 
finger foot. So what's with the numbers? Is that a VR game? Interesting. So prove that trailer. Very on brand. There's no comp in that. That was an accident. Holy butts, another engagement spike! The chat's going nuts, so our social mindshare ratings and marketing relevancy are shooting through the roof. Somebody tell me what the shit is going on. Moon house? A fucking house on the moon? What if it's, it's the... the yeah, I feel like I'm mid-stroke right now. Yeah, what if it's the trailers? Hey, you big dumb robot, uh, do you think... Oh, okay. Yeah, I was thinking something a little more along the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Knew it. Let's make sure. So it's a card game with duels. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, another massive Might be cool. spike. Like big time massive. What do the numbers look like though? They just just they keep going up. It's absolutely insane. This isn't real. This can't be real. It's like some kind Video of video game. Yeah, definitely interesting looking, but gameplay wise, I have to see more on it. No, it can't be. Did you just say video game singularity? Oh my god. Wait, what are we talking about right now? Video game singularity is a hypothetical mono moment of absolute corporate convergence. An event horizon into which yeah, there's a little choppy looking. conglomerate interests are inescapably pulled and at a single point of infinite density. Compressed against the entropic inevitability of, like, I don't know, years of inter industry corporate mergers, acquisitions between developers, publishers, platform holders, and soulless holding companies. Everyone buying, merging with, and acquiring everyone else until the only fucking thing left anymore is one giant, thick, throbbing. Ultra Ultra Meta Omni Company eating up everything in its way! It can't be bargained with, it can't be reasoned with. It doesn't feel pity or remorse or fear, and it absolutely will not stop ever until everything is one thing, and that one thing is everything. And that thing is us? Oh, God! Oh, Jesus Christ! So, two moon houses? You're not getting it, Zane. Imagine all platforms, all iconic characters, all methods of monetization, all hotballed up into one monopolistic orgy of interactive video entertainment. Imagine streaming your favorite prequel as a service on, on, on your virtual phone while you're sitting on a toilet in a in a metaverse Taco Bell while you while you have Sonic so the Hedgehog in a committed non-monogamous relationship with, with that huge lady from Resident Evil and they are They could be playing Apex Ford Zone on an Atari Dream Station 6. Ford Zone and it would all be free to play. Or play to earn. <laughs> How did this happen? It's the mech. It's gotta be. It's the only thing powerful enough to do it. You guys? You guys follow the directions, right? Of course! Well... Toy Story, dude. Once upon a time, there was a plucky squire named Jot. Jot roamed the land in search of adventure. 
battling beasts. Interesting. The helpless. And generally being very heroic. Damn, dude. But then one day he discovered something rather curious. A world he That's never knew wild. existed. Oh, that's cool. Hmm. <laughs> that's pretty cool looking. It reminds me a little bit of It Takes Two. Yep. I thought the exact same thing. I was already interested in like the page aspect of yeah. playing a game. I was like, that's a pretty cool idea. And then you hopped down, I'm like, wait, they're going to do more with that? And then it showed the cup and stuff. And I was like... It can remind me of It Takes Two because of the variety of yeah. scenarios and, and locations and stuff. Changing visual styles. Shout out to It Takes Two if you haven't played it. Get a buddy and play it. That's not the point. G Fuel just put in an offer to buy Valve. Microsoft bought Bethesda again. Just for fun. Just what the ever shitty fuck fire have you assholes done now? Oh, um, uh, Plucky Squire. We just did the Plucky Squire thing. Yeah, it was legit the sauce. To my robot. What have you done to my goddamn robot? And what's with your shirt? It's the singularity. So what is the problem? The video game singularity. <laughs> somehow Animal this project. big dumb whatever the I shit see the is selling like egregious Fuck, amounts love of it. hype and marketing power into a single point and everything is converging on that point right here. So what is the problem? Soon Devolver Digital Inc. will become the sole arbiter of all video games and everything that goes along with it. A, a lone, single, mega platform with total and unstoppable absolute command over everything. So what is the problem? We don't know what we're doing. The Devolver barely functions as a marginally successful video game publisher. We can't be the, the central ordinal nexus of all industry. Why not? Why? Why aren't you getting this? Oh, I get it. This is the, uh... Yeah? You can't... So it's skate meets res. It's very interesting. You are. Need <laughs> a glass and pain. Yeah, it's so weird. I feel like I gotta at least know more about it. Plus, I like skateboarding games, so. Yeah. That's what it looks like it is, except for weird. It's cool, you break when you crash. I'm interested weird. to see, like, what the story is. Skate story. You're a demon. Made of glass and pain, dude. Yeah, that's fucked up. What else do you need to know? That was Jesus. Really weird. Annapurna Interactive just merged with Mountain Dew. Fuck. They're gonna make a soft drink out of Journey. Ah! It's not gonna stop. The hype is too great. It's the county. We made a countdown with nothing at the end just to get viewers and built a machine we don't understand to do the counting down. We were so preoccupied with whether or not we could, we didn't stop to think if we should. We can't stop counting. It can't even stop itself counting. This machine is a mechanized construct of, of stuff that's complicated. It's off the rails and it's just as stuck as we are. So, no moon houses. No, nothing. First it will be Devolver, then it will be everything. We won't even, what the? Actualized. It's the mech! The fribbing Goran Sitzman Grosset son of a smegging shaz butt! Is it almost time? Are we almost ready? Listen! <laughs> listen, you have to listen to me! The only way out of this is to.
It's fucking scary. In the beginning, it is always dark. <laughs> a single loot box coin. It is all that remains in my vast empire. Video game wa kiyete shimatta no? Yes. Ja, subete muda datta nda ne. No. It hasn't. Video games can arise again, and you, and your dreams and wishes. <laughs> Open your hand. What are you going to wish for? Then there will be no more video games anymore. As many as you want. And the more wishes you make, the more magnificent video games will become. Try it. Check the luck will never die. for this. It's like the it's like the fucking palate cleanser with all the events happening. And they managed to uh, throw games in there. I hate that there's a song that says check a look. They aren't over the top about it. True. Not over the top at all. My brain just telling me I should be worried there's a song playing, but I'm like, they made this song, so I think I'll be good. Be real fucking shit move on their part to just be goddamn making a song, copywriting it, and then be like, hey, you can't, you can't have that in your fucking streams. God, those fucking 
plastic masks. All right, well, that was that. What'd you think? I hated it. <laughs> no, I, li- I liked it. I usually like Devolver presentations, I thought. I mean, most importantly, I thought all of the games looked interesting. Um, I yeah, that's why they really nailed it. Especially excited for the little Cult of the Lamb game. Um, the microphone's really far away. Though I do feel like... Uh, most of them at least look like something I wanted to try out. Yeah. Um, I think their presentation uh, started a little bit rough for me, but um, once it kind of came together with what they were going for, I thought it was good. Yeah. Uh, overall, I like the whole thing. Um, I think they always bring a really good uh, lens uh, viewing the... Um, the the games industry uh in the last year or so they make a lot of fun jokes about them about all the different developers and publishers and things that are happening um somehow the writers of the this fucking and never ending fucking story of uh you know devolver uh they keep coming up with new ideas which is uh impressive um and the writing's always a lot of fun uh they also get like really good uh, like people to play these characters, which is always a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, like uh, other Devolver presentations, this one was really good. I liked mm-hmm. it. I thought it was funny to have a uh, Suda 51 in it um, as a Mecha Suda 51. That was really interesting. Um, and yeah, the most important part about the whole thing is the games uh, were all really interesting looking. Least interesting one for me is that card game yeah. with the duels um, and the 10 FPS. But everything else looks like games I want to play. Uh, Cold of the Lamb looks cool for sure. Sort of kind of interested in that before, but uh, what they showed off this time was really cool. Um, also, uh, that I forgot what it's called, but um, the the on the page platformer that turns into a 3D game. Oh, the Plucky Squire. Yeah, that uh, that was uh, like way cooler looking than I thought it was going to be. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, yeah, the foot one, the one where we kick doors down and kill people. Uh, that looks interesting. I'm curious to see if that is a VR game or not. Uh, that could easily be a first-person shooter, but the way it was being played, or at least what they were showing concept-wise, looked like a VR game. And if those guys made Gorn, also made other games that weren't VR games, but made Gorn, um, it would make sense that it would be, it would be a um, VR game. Kind of reminded me of Gorn as well, um, just with guns. So, uh, But yeah, the humor is there. The production values there I, they do a great job and it seems like they just get more and more ambitious when it comes to their presentations every year um which is cool because you know devolver is a smaller publisher they publish a lot of games but it's cool to see that the money they make goes back into the games that they're publishing but also um these presentations uh they definitely have fun with it uh it's, it feels like that and it's fun to watch them um and uh yeah enjoyed watching this and the games are cool so overall really good and honestly, I think it was better than the fucking uh, Summer Game Fest. So in a smaller yep. amount of time. Yep. Um, though, you know, in that format, if you do it well enough, it doesn't feel like they're wasting your time. So uh, whereas if you sit there for like two hours and there's like a bunch of filler and shit, it can start wearing on you. So they don't have that problem. So, yeah, really cool. And uh, always impressive. I'm always impressed with what they do with these. So I'm super intrigued by that skateboarding game. Yeah. Yeah. That one looked cool, too. Um, I mean, it just looks like a skateboarding game, but, uh, how weird and bizarre it is, uh, makes it really, um, intriguing. So, yeah. um, I mean, even the card game is intriguing, but you know, I just, I'm not a big card guy and they didn't really show off enough of what the gameplay is. They probably showed gameplay right, right in front of us, but, um, they didn't show like how it's going to work when you're interacting with the game. And so I, yeah, I don't know what to think. So. Uh, all I saw was cards and uh, people in duels. So uh, maybe when you beat somebody, you just kill them in a duel. I don't know. So uh, let's see. Never stop making these devolver. I agree 100%. Like how they aren't over the top about it. YouTube claims anyways. Uh, probably. Probably. YouTube once claimed my song. And I was like, fuck you, dude. I, I, I own this song. You're not going to copyright strike me for that. Um 
I'll have an opinion at some point. I'm recovering for now. That's a fair a fair way to look at this because there was a lot to take in, a lot of flashing lights, a lot of uh, brain damage you probably uh, got from watching this. But uh, but yeah, let us know when you when you get there. Uh, the 2D 3D game looks dope. I agree 100%. Um, it was definitely one of the highlights. Um, definitely excited for that as well. Uh, and then reminded both of us of the same game so that's interesting so yeah play it takes two if that looked interesting to you at all because it reminded us of that as well so and that game's fantastic that game's fucking awesome um yeah what'd you grade it uh a nice yep just an a was i mean just solid yeah i think the length was good i think the um you know, they're always telling a story. Um, I think it was clever. Again, I, I did think it started out a little bit rough, but I think that they pulled it together in the end. So that's really what's important. Um, mm. All of the games uh, looked good. I don't really have a lot of complaints. Um, you know, if it had been two hours long, like Summer Game Fest, maybe then. But um, I think this is the perfect length of time for the kind of thing that they do. Yeah, especially showing off what like five or six games yeah in 30 minutes while also having a you know fun production yeah it's perfect yeah perfect time a minus would be brainwashed again yeah well no big surprise here i'm also going with the a minus um i think the presentation was really good um i would go higher um if it was for the presentation alone i would definitely go higher but um uh, all the games are awesome looking. They all are all indie games. So like, I'm not like super hyped on like all of them, but a couple of them I'm actually pretty hyped about. Um, so, uh, yeah, the games are good, solid. One of them was kind of weak. Uh, the presentation was, was great. They do a really good job with the writing, the acting, the production value at this point. Um, just really, really, I mean, this is something I look forward to every year at this point. So, yeah. um, that is, uh, definitely cool. And, uh, yeah. I would give it a strong A minus. Really, really good. The story was all over the place and a lot of fun, but uh, it gave writer a stroke, so I gotta drop it down <laughs> to an A minus because uh, the permanent damage it's caused people. Let's see. Writer says pretty much all they showed looked cool. Not stoked about any of them really, but that probably wasn't even the point. Yeah, pretty much. They, I mean, they, they kind of want the excuse to make these funny like bits about the games industry. And then they're like, we also need to sell games and let people know games are coming. So uh, I think it's really clever, though, the way that they just kind of like throw the ads in seamlessly with the narrative that's happening. They've done this multiple times now with the uh, with the, uh, you know, Devolver presentations, going back to even the first one where she was just on stage doing a, like a shameless EA style presentation. And they're just like doing all these uh, things. But in this, it's like they're hitting the button and then these, you know, these actual advertisements are happening. So. It's uh, I think a really clever way to do it, but uh, but yeah, I, I get where you're coming from. I'm uh, I'm I'm mostly stoked about the the 2D 3D game, whatever whatever the fuck that's called. The Plucky Squire. Plucky Squire and uh, Cult of the Lamb, I think, are the two highest typed games I have on there. Um, and the skateboard game looks cool, but yeah. yeah, those three are the ones that stood out for me as well. But I'm not like hyped, like you know god of war ragnarok or something you know it's not that not that kind of thing but as like indie games really fucking cool looking um yeah so really good seems like everybody liked it uh we'll hang out for a little bit and then i gotta get the fuck out of here because it's almost 3 a.m chevy i'm sure you know all about that um and i gotta go to sleep soon so um baby sweepy yeah any uh any last things you guys want to throw out there about the presentations and then uh let's see we do uh Little trolling really devolves into devolver presentation. True. Um, okay, I already read all that. This game, I, I can't tell if that's V, it looks like it's VR. Does it actually look like this? You gotta, gotta be up at one to go across state. Oh yeah, so we'll uh, we'll we'll get this uh, rolling. But uh, just in case anybody's curious, um, I am open and ready to do streams every night when it comes to the presentations. Um, 
I think the only presentation that's happening Friday, technically today, uh, is the IGN Expo. What I'm going to do is I'm probably going to just see what they're showing off. And if anything piques my interest, I won't look into it. Um, but I will react to it if it's worth it. Uh, if IGN doesn't have anything to show off, which I suspect they won't, um, maybe I'll stream anyway, something else. I don't know. Um, I'm in the mindset to just stream for the next like four days. So, uh, we'll see how that goes. But, uh, yeah, as the presentations roll out, I will be doing streams of them. If it's on the weekend, I can probably do it. Uh, as it happens, but, uh, you know, on like, you know, Thursday, Friday, and Monday, I will be doing it at midnight again. Um, but yeah, the Xbox Bethesda one is happening Sunday. That is a must for me. I'm definitely going to be doing a reaction to that because Xbox has a lot of things, uh, that they need to show off. They have so many things in the pipeline and they haven't shown anything on any of them. So uh, they they need to go fucking big. They need to do something. I'm like ready for it. So I will be watching that for sure. I'm hoping it's going to be awesome. Um, and then Capcom's doing a thing on Monday. Uh, we'll see if it's just like a presentation on Street Fighter VI. Uh, I, I would be down to react to that. But if they show some Resident Evil stuff, I'm definitely wanting to see that. So uh, stay tuned. More streams are coming. And uh, maybe some game streams. I can play. I can play a video game, old fashioned, dude, in the old way. Um, let's see. Microsoft and Bethesda better show me something to get frisky about. I'll watch the IGN Expo just for the cringe factor, though. Well, yeah, I mean the people at IGN for sure is not not a uh, not an attractive thing for me. But uh, if they got if they got stuff to show me that I can't see anywhere else, I'll be watching it. But yeah, I, I definitely am not looking forward to listening to people from IGN talk. Um, yeah. Way we play games. I fucking sometimes, man. Sometimes I get to play a game. Other times I, uh, I'm working, sleeping, or making videos about video games. Um, yeah. So I'm going to try and play some games soon, too. Uh, I don't know what though. I got so many games I want to play right now, and they're all multiplayer. But yeah, yeah, I'm with you though. Microsoft needs to fucking show something. It's it's time they gotta they gotta finally show us what they've been spending all the money on. So we will see. Sunday will be a fun Sunday. Fun day. It'll be a fun day. All right. Well, um, that's probably gonna do it for the stream. This is a pin Mirko. <laughs> He's like smack me right in the face. Like, <laughs> smack me in the face. Um, and yeah, thanks for hanging out, guys. Everybody who hung out in the chat, whether you hung out earlier, you're still here. We appreciate it. Hopefully you had fun. We had fun. And if you're watching this after the fact, thanks for watching as well. Let us know in the comments and in the chat what you thought, what you thought of uh, everything that we saw. And uh, stay tuned. We got more streams coming. Um, and yeah. I've been, uh, all right, thanks for the stream, y'all. Take it easy. Take it easy as well, and I'm Bye. sure I will see you soon, Ryder. Uh, this has been Sarah. Thank you, Sarah, for joining me, and I've been Seth. Until the next stream and the next episode, take it easy, guys.